Welcome there, traveler. Please, take a seat, grab a drink, and enjoy the Sunday session. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to die today? That's a good question. Do you want to read out the intro? Me. Anybody? No. What, what style are you doing this, this week? Better. I honestly can't think of a voice for it right now. I mean, I can just do the Dragon Balls in the voice again. You can just do your voice. I can. You could do it as Nalag, Dave, Nalag's Ooh. other version, Nalag's, uh, Nalag's uh, country bumpkin cousin. David, no. <laughs> country bumpkin. Well, Kathleen the farmer. 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 Farmer David. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, stranger. Previously, our heroes attempted to investigate a dank cellar, encountering several vampires in the process. The battle raged on with a near total loss of life were it not for the critical aid of Morden. Battered and beaten, they proceeded to rest, with Rin taking the initiative to search the cellar further. He squeezed through a tight crack into a room full of treasure. Before returning to the group, he came across an amber sarcophagus, who offered him a deal to live forever. Not seeing much issue in doing so, he accepted, and in doing so, began to walk a dark path. Oh, fuck, that was bad. What has become of Rin? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I lost it. Fuck. Nope, oh, nope. Farmer, farmer, farmer. <laughs> <laughs> what has become of Rin? Who or what was in the sarcophagi? Oh, God. <laughs> Will our big, meaty, well-protected member be able to squeeze through the crack? Find <laughs> out this week on Sunday Sessions. I don't think I that is a good way to say sarcophagi in a Welsh accent. I just don't think that has ever organically come up in that locale. It's the juxtaposition, I think. <laughs> okay, I vote for not editing any of that. Mm. Oh no, I, I left the fumble in, in this week's one as well. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck. Oh no, it's already, it's already posted, it's live. I know, I know, I've listened to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, where did we actually leave off? Uh, Rin got his immortality promise. Cool, cool thing. He's got his cool new thing. He's got his cool, cool new thing. Not a problem we at all. destroyed the sarcophagi. Yep, you smashed the fuck out of all those. Mm. All three of them. Mm -hmm. Foolishly, one might say. I would not say that. I would. That was why I was saying it. Are you Foolishly. Are you commenting on our behavior or are you just sort of just going, oh, okay, this will happen? Uh, is this a trap? Are you trying to trap me right now? <laughs> it's a trap. I burst through the wall. Cool, <laughs> cool aid man, guy style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we smashed the sarcophagus and then we were going to go through the crack in the wall, but we decided to uh, go and get... Why you more going through the crack? Every in time the I say more than sorry, that's my key. Why do your keys play a tune? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. You should know. You're the one that should know. <laughs> no, it's my mom's car key. <laughs> so uh, during this whole, because a few people had a bit of a bit of a snooze and a, and a rest and everything like that, and when everyone was downstairs killing vampires, uh, why you was. <laughs> it's done now. Is it? <laughs> or is this going to be like a, a very, very long tick metronome? No, this is the first activation. That's the deactivation. I can reactivate it while it's still activated, but otherwise it doesn't do anything. Is it it's some sort of Soviet sleeper cell? Can it be? <laughs> sure, why not? It, actually, if that thing just plays in a minor key, then it just becomes a Soviet <laughs> sleeper cell. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, so the entire time while you was up in the library going through various books. Uh, uh, Sounds about right. Yep. At one point during the fight, um, Dave came up and pestered him in, into, well, not going down to, well, eventually going down to try and help out, and then met Nalag on the way. <laughs> well, Nalag was... Running. Yeah, running. I was going to say making a, a retreat. <laughs> that was funny. I thought that was funny. You're like, it's very important that you get down here and help. And then by the time he gets down there, it's like, oh, I'm running away. <laughs> but you did, throw, uh, you did threaten to throw a rock at Dave. I role played that in. Just so, <laughs> just, so, just so you know that that's a thing that happened. All right, I got to incorporate that into the character now. Let me just get in the headspace. Yep, that's fine. But, um, no issues that to way. fill in the time, you're looking at about, probably about 10 hours all up, in, with, uh, including like the interruption to go down and kill some vampires um 
what do you see why you doing in the library during that time just so we can fill in the gap from last just session. drawing like like mustaches and all little little portraits in the books boobs boobs on them uh what well, there look there is definitely you can't actually read and you're just pretending to and defacing all of them he's been putting on like a brave front this whole time he actually he can't he can't read <laughs> Uh, I like there is a fair amount of going through all the books and looking for like the nudie pages. <laughs> oh yeah. That means structuring a wiki would be rough. You spend a lot of time in front of books, you gotta make your own fun. Uh Okay, so I mean I've got a fair amount of spells that I have been uh, working chipping away at yep. trying to copy into spellbook. If you wanted to try and finish one of those off, I think you've got some time to do it, because I think it was an hour per spell level, if I remember right. I always imagined that magic um, was powerful because it's rather in the this world universe, where it feels better than sex, like you're actually finishing up your spell. Are you sure? Where are you going Discworld? with this, though? No, but like, that, that, that's genuinely part of the Discworld um, canon. Is that I, I get that, but where are you going in this sense? Like... Wizards don't bother, like, having partners or whatever, because they're too busy just going, oh, yeah, there's spells! I, okay, I think you might have slightly misremembered that. I think that's a thing wizards tell themselves to make up for the fact that they don't get any. No, that was that was a thing that Rincewind did. Like, he finally managed to cast a spell, and he's like, well, no wonder they don't have sex. I don't remember that, but I don't reread the early books. Mm. Much if that's like color of magic, I think it was either color of magic or light of yeah, magic. Yeah, that's like the first book. Yeah, one of the one of the mm. first two. Yeah, they don't really get rolling until. Mm. So uh, when, is, when, <laughs> when, when are we doing the podcast about us just and uh, sitting around talking shit about um, things from our childhood? And can we just start doing that now? <laughs> I think we just did because otherwise, <laughs> otherwise we're just going to throw away the past. Oh, 10 I just I just finished. <laughs> Like, legit, I would talk about Discworld all day if we were allowed to. We're, we're not. Exactly. Because I'm, uh, I'm let, letting Trev scroll through his spell list to work out which spell he was working on, and we've managed to vamp about Discworld for five minutes. Yeah, and if you we'll, want to keep we'll doing that, because a, I'm fucking... A Discworld book club uh, podcast, where, like, we sit down and we read all the Discworld books, like, in order, and we talk about them. So, like, you say, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be, like, the next, the next, the next episode is going to be the next five chapters of this book. We should do that. Hey, we'll do that. Let's do that. That's it's like a long time. There's a lot of Discworld books, including you know, like all okay. the. Okay. Well, are you afraid that like the world's gonna end between now and? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New South Wales just did vote one nation in. <laughs> uh, for a seat. Yeah. No, it's still two seats too many. Hmm. I get on board with that. Hmm. I can mm. get on board with that. Discworld's books are great. Yeah. Give me an excuse to read all the Discworld books again. I reread a bunch of them recently. Oh, re re audio booked a bunch of them, like like last year. Who does but the um the reading on those ones? There's a bunch, but there's one that's narrated by Baldrick, which is amazing. Oh, um, Tony Robinson, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not the ones that I had, but yeah, I can't find them anymore. They were on Amazon for a while, and then they just disappeared. And on Audible. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And this po this podcast is not sponsored by Audible. Audible, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Give me also, some. Also, Blue Apron. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Yeah. Just go to the shops. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's easier in Australia, where we actually have fresh ingredients at the shops. Mm. Mm. I'd be like, okay, you guys do. I've got like Woolies CBD. There was there was a lettuce once. We all just gathered around and looked at it. <laughs> What's that? Had, have you I, got your fucking spell ready <laughs> yet? <laughs> <That's dramatic. laughs> This is not going to be literal <laughs> real time. This, you know, this is not nick of time sort of level. Where like he said he the, had the, ten hours. Jesus, yeah. we're not going to play out the ten hours I, in I real barely, time. I barely have used one of these ten hours so far. Give me a break. Okay, now I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Are you though? Because you're working. <laughs> on are you spell? saying? Are you, is the, are you into the phase of the vamming where you're like, no, 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 I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this, is cool. we do, we do, this is really padded out for another minute. I'm done vamping. Don't worry about me vamping anymore. It's done. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say it now. Just wait. Like, one, two, three. And now I'll, and I'll go. <laughs> Trev, you've got a weird color of red. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as red as his hat. Almost. It's like, it's like playing the bagpipes. Stop vamping! <laughs> 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 you know the winners room where you're like, 
you gotta blow and play at the same time, like vamping and thinking. No, I'm good. I got it. 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 Do you though? If you go to this is like Stop a one again. word <laughs> fucking spell name, I'm gonna glass you. <laughs> you gonna what him? Glass him. I, I, but I, what did you say? It was like blast. I was like, what the fuck is blast? That, That's when your friends sit you uh, down and make you watch uh, Paul Blart Paul Blart, 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 Blart. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm okay. on the edge of my seat. Pay for the whole thing, but losing the edge. Okay. <laughs> here is my... Alright, here is my uh, word picture. Um, Alright, step one. Uh, tear us through the entire library, shouting out command words, and just seeing what the fuck happens. Okay. The, the, the magic, the magic secret, secret magic words. Yep. All of the books are in a pile anyway. Oh, good chunk of the, everything that was in the reaching distance of a chul is on the ground in a big pile. Given that he's um, fucking huge, convenient. I think it was either at the end of the session when you were last here, or in, la- in the last session yeah. you spoke the command word for one book, and like the the spine of it actually sort of <laughs> lit up, and and like the, the the font sort of just like embossed itself in gold and the pages filled and I can't remember if that oh, was wow. at the end of the, the, end of the, pre, the last session you were at or whether it was in last no yeah. I think I wasn't there for that because that's real ball and I don't remember it okay that's essentially what happens you spoke the, and then pretty much like the, and then just like book reading but yeah for the next sort of hour or so you're running around just like scooping through piles you're, you've, you've seen those videos of a dog leaping like at full bore into a pile of swept up autumn leaves that's you with this pile of books. You're Scrooge McDucking your way through spell books. Essentially, you are having, essentially that. You're having the grandest of times. Um, there is up, like spitting out a fountain s- of pages, pages, scrolls just spitting out. Yep. There is there is a method to the madness. He has a notebook with him, and that is you know categorization going on. To anyone else, at, would just be at like, one point you sort of dive dive story. through, lose your notebook, and you're shuffling through a pile of books to find a book. It is finding a book in a in a, in a Oh, I can't uh, make book, in a, book in a book stack. <laughs> book in a book stack. Um, but at this at this point, I can't make that funny. A book in a library. That's just what it is. Yeah, it, it's exactly what it is. Um, but, but at this point, yeah, he's not he's not committing to uh, to uh, uh, reading or trying to transcribe any spells. You're just finding out what's there. What's, what's and what what's is there is every single spell that's in the player's handbook. Uh, oh damn! I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> no, you don't. Because you've already had that. You've had for so long, you have that. <laughs> but every every book that's listed in the player's handbook, not in any of the um, the other source books, but the player's handbook, every spell that's in that is in this library. Okay. Okay. And has been proven by Nalag, you cannot remove any of the books from the four walls of this chamber without them crumbling to dust. Oh boy. So, choose wisely. Uh, he chose poorly. poorly. <laughs> this is really straight up that, isn't it? <laughs> if you that, try, that, to, if you try to remove one of these books, <laughs> the whole thing's going to start like rumbling, some sort of seismic activity. There's going to be a crack for, open up. The book's going to fall a little bit further down. You're going to try and reach for it, and someone's going to yell like, Indy, no, leave it. No, we've got enough. Also, you're a Nazi. That actually sounds great. Can we just do that? <laughs> is that from anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's from this jackass called George Lucas. Yeah, what's he done for us recently? He sold Star Wars to Disney. Okay, all right. Well, based on that information, uh, the next step in this process uh, is is real obvious. Which book from the PHB? Well, I, I would think the next step is pretty obvious. You become an NPC and make a new character because you are now stuck in this room. <laughs> <and you laughs> yeah, I'm really interested to see how any of that isn't going to be the case because mm. that's just pretty much it. You know, I live here, mm. guys. I mean... There's plenty of chill to eat. But as it stands, you've got about eight hours before... The, sorry, nine hours, or eight and a half at this point, before uh, these guys finish their various tasks they were doing. Sleeping. Yep. Oh, they, they sleep for the the period of time, and then they, I think you both worked on some independent tasks after that. I think you are making some... Um, didn't we... Um, yeah, they're your skills. Though. I think we destroyed those sarcophaguses. That's towards the end of the, the like, ten hours that mm. he's got, because he didn't sleep during this time. Mm. He's booking. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, and turning the first hour now, like, it's, like, after you fell into these um, rolling, otherwise just walking. But essentially, yeah, you've got about eight hours before these guy, these chuckle fucks start making, um, making all the mistakes downstairs and end up, you know, roping you into it as well. Mistakes. Yes. Oh, maybe trying <laughs> to restore some of those potions. Sorry? Maybe trying to restore some of those potions that you recovered. Oh, the dried up ones? Mm. I think that might take a little bit more time and some, like, alchemy lab. lab. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, and I need holy water as well. That's what you did for that hour. Yeah, you were making holy water. Oh, that's water. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, th- I thought there was, a, there was an hour there you were prepping some stuff, and mm. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you, you were put, it was spending time putting the... the that was the rationale, guys. We did, like, an eight-hour rest. You spent an hour doing your spell ring thing, and you spent an hour doing your... Um, Making holy water, and Rin spent an hour making very wonderful decisions downstairs. Yes. And then it went into fighting time, because Rin came back upstairs and went, Hey. Now you did the... This is after the... Okay, yeah, yeah. Wow, timelines. Timelines. I remember things. Yeah. You have time. Nine. Eight. We'll Uh, say nine hours all up. If you want to try and start transcribing... Uh, I do, but suddenly having access to way more spells than I thought may have changed the priority on what you're feeding. Um, okay, so I will just throw this out there and get some feedback from the uh, the group out of character. Um, Foxy Boy, uh, his spellbook contained a 5th level spell called Contact Other Plane, which I was going to spend 5 hours uh, transcribing. Can you cast 5th level? I honestly reckon something that can disable magic altogether is probably going to be more useful at the moment. Um, no, hang on. To be to be clear, um, why he doesn't really want to be here anymore. Fair enough. He's, uh, he's, he's, he left the stove on in his own dimension. He's going to get back. I think we like you're halfway through the day, and it's just like, oh shit, yeah, I didn't close the fuck up. I gotta get a I get a book, guys. It's been great, but. Um, oh damn! There is 19 pages of spells just from the PHP, according to D and D Beyond. It doesn't seem like that many. Bear in mind, he also has. He can also can only cast wizard spells at the moment. True. He can transcribe whatever though. Yeah, the functionality of the spells isn't really factoring into this. He isn't making decisions based off what's going to be like mechanically useful in the next couple of rounds. This is whatever is have. Has he ever done that? Hmm? Has he ever done that? Based off what's mechanically useful? I think that was a burn. <laughs> I, think, I, think that, I think that just then was a burn. Okay, so I filter by wizard, it takes it down to 12 pages. Yeah, wizards can cast the most amount of spells out of everyone, but still. But wizards, like, that's, that's just what they can learn naturally, right? If a wizard can, like, transcribe a cleric spell, they can still cast it. They no. just can't learn it naturally. No, they can't cast it. They can write it down, but they can't actually cast it. That's how it works, is that you have to be able to actually cast the spell. Like, it has to be part of your class. But if it's on a scroll... <coughs> scroll's different, doesn't it? That, any, 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 any random chump, even non-magical folk, can use a mm. scroll. That's a different thing. Mm. If you're of the same class and <laughs> of the same level of like being able to cast it, you can just sort of do it. Otherwise, you have to make a roll for it. Mm. Sometimes with disadvantage. So, um... Contact other planes. So was oh boy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So in order of um of, of order of priority, um, why you at this point uh feels like I mean shit's getting out of hand. You know. Yeah. There is a lot going on in this wacky little realm. Uh, that is, if not outside of his pay grade, at least needs sort of reporting back to a higher authority. Mm-hmm. Um. So the two two attempts at that uh, was going to be. Uh, banishment, mm-hmm. which is a what level? Planes. That's a fourth level. Yep. And the other one was contact other plane, which is a fifth level. Those both came from uh, Foxy Boy. And uh, if you want to do both of those, I'd say you've got just enough time to get well, those yeah, done. Well, yeah, but what else is in? I mean, I was ba- I had no idea that I would have all of these other spells. What is what is in those twelve pages? Does anyone know of anything in those twelve pages which uh, would more suit that that purpose? Getting a message back to another plane or getting himself. Yeah, yeah, Wish. 
<laughs> that is actually one of the that would I'm pretty yeah, sure Wish is on that list. But yeah. being able to cast wishes. You'd have to level up a bit before you got the act capacity to use that one. That is What level is that? What level yeah, is that? Uh, ninth no level, idea. I believe. Yeah, it's ninth level spell. So you're gonna be like level eighteen or something like that or something before you start mm. casting that shit. Mm. Something around there, Mark. Maybe slightly lower. Level seventeen. Um but I would say maybe um sending is probably the only other one. Unless you have a spell that can summon something. But as we've established, something you get summoned yet can't get unsummoned. What's sending? Messaging. No, basically messaging. Mm. Yeah, and that moves across planes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Magic text. Yeah. Mm. You're like, you up. It's basically Wink, winking, it... smiley face, eggplant, eggplant, peach. Fire, 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 fire. And then, yeah, sending's only third, uh, third level as well, so that's something you can use. Is so you, level, here we go. Sorry, third level. Uh, so yeah, the wording on that one is you can send a short message of 25 words or less to a creature that with which you are familiar. It is texting. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the creature hears the message in its mind, recognizes you as the sender if it knows you, and can answer in a, ma- in a like manner immediately. Uh, the spell enables creatures with intelligent scores of, l- of at least one to understand the meaning of your message. Uh, you can send a message across any distance and even other planes of existence, but if the target on, is on a different plane than you, there is a 5% chance the message does not arrive. Well, that's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for. Yep. One of those, please. That's, that's a, my that, next that, that knocks out three hours. And with your remaining six, because I think you're going to have nine hours all up. Yep. <coughs> you now have access to sending. Sending and new brain who this. It also costs fifty gold per level or something, isn't it? Or I it costs m- some money, which yeah, I'll figure out how much it is. Yeah, it's about. I'm, I'm good for it. it. It'll, it'll put it on your tab. It's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. fifty gold and one hour per spell level. Yeah, that's I got wizard right. Amex. Oh, so we don't take Amex. We don't take Amex. <laughs> well, there's a three percent surcharge on Amex. Hey, hot take. Amex is dumb. We're like, and again, we're we're doing Trevor's we, name. We, we, yeah, we are. that's great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, banishment, please. <laughs> banishment. Banishment's the other one. That's uh, that was a fifth level, wasn't it? Uh, fourth level. Fourth level. So that's yep. uh, seven hours. Yep. So do you have any um, decent utility boost, like boosting other player spells? Do you have anything that can damage anything? Do you have yes. any desire to do any of these things? Not really. Not hugely. No. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I'll throw you guys a bone. Come on, pick one. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. Here is here is the trade off. You get you get to pick one of the spells that goes in my spell book and I can cast. In exchange for that, you will never utter the phrase "Don't you have?" or <laughs> "Why don't you have?" X spell ever again. I refuse to ask you. If you that doesn't seem like <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good deal. <laughs> Just to draw a circle around that, you're actually choosing the ability to bitch about something rather than try to solve the problem. Yes. That is okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Mill- really millennials. millennials. <laughs> um, because you do you already have haste? He has haste. Uh, I do. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Um, you're forcing me into. A I have dibs on haste though. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I was thinking. If he ha- if he's casting haste on, oh wait, I'm guessing most of them are probably concentration, though, aren't they? So you can really uh, realistically only do one at a time. Unless there's a damage spell, uh, you can get yeah. it second level or first level or something. Hey Trevor. Yeah. Get fireball. Hey, you know what? Yeah, that's third level. Mm-hmm. I thought you cut. Oh wait, no, that's the other guy. See, see, I can make this deal because I'm not gonna ask you if you have a spell. <laughs> He's, a, you've already got the one that he wants. <laughs> woo woo woo. <laughs> um. All right. Hey, um, can we put a pin in that one and just wreck on it later? That, that I'll, I'll pick like a, a, a third level spell of some description. Second level, and we'll second. You got two. Eight, nine. two. We'll flash back later. Yeah. Okay. In that case, uh, time. Can play, time. Can we play a game now? Yeah. Cool. That sounds so, fun. <laughs> Until we start dying. So situation is. Time is caught up. Um, Trevor is... You guys have all sort of... Like prized him out of the library. Like grabbed him by the shoulders and said, We gotta move on now. You can come back later. 
I, it is actually very important. We need to move on to this next room. You're going to need to come back to these books at a later date. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Yeah, look at me. Look at, look at my face. Look at my face. There is nothing out there that is as important as what's in here. Literally nothing. And don't get me wrong, I'm including you in this. We, we, found, <laughs> we found a room full of treasures. And if you don't come into the room full of treasures, we're going to take all the treasures without you. Go on. Oh, my. Tre treasures. Treasures, you say? We haven't, uh, well, Ulrich and I haven't been down this room, but uh, from what we've heard, there's quite a lot of gold. There's quite a lot of gold. Is it nearby? It's just downstairs. It's just downstairs. Just yeah. downstairs. Where, okay. where the vampires were. Through You've a, been uh, down there. You briefly popped your head down the stairs through... Through a crack, isn't it? Uh, yes. Oh, there's a crack in the vampire room. Oh, okay. It's the name of my fourth album, Crack in the Vampire Room. There's a crack that we're going to have to squeak through. It was, it was not well received. I went and re-listened just to that part <laughs> of the recording, and I was just listening to it, and my, I got tears in my eyes just listening to you losing your shit. Because it is <clears throat> fucking hilarious. Oh, I'm the, looking the, forward the whole, to... The whole conversation about the crack? Yeah. <laughs> Because he's just in, in tears, and I'm trying to fucking stay straight face. I was face in and physical pain. It genuinely hurt to keep laughing that much. <laughs> it was great. Anyway, you guys head down, back down the stairs. Um, well, the three of you know the situation that was down there. It's, there is busted up crates that did hold vampire spawn. There are three busted up amber sarcophagi. Um, there's the crack you, of sort you, of the... You, you, you foolish individuals... Wasted the opportunity that was presented by these sarcophagi. They didn't give me any opportunity. And then you, and then you destroyed them. Yeah. What like, kind of like like a, like a fool? What kind of opportunity would they have given us? It does not matter what anymore. You do notice, Trevor, as you're coming downstairs, and amongst the sort of the the footprints from the the melee that happened that happened downstairs, that sort of scooped some of the dust and everything away on the floor. You can start seeing, like, in the the black marble flooring, there is. Um, like a sort of a gold lace, um, a gold lace sort of ele like elements of a circle that have, uh, that are etched into the etched and uh, embossed into the into the stonework, and you just spot that straight away because it looks strikingly familiar. Uh, but you can just see like little little bits basically where some f you know people have like scraped their foot against the ground or you know they've been moving sort of bodies around or anything like that. Every now and then you can see like the dust has just been cleared away enough where you can just sort of see gold inlaid into the black marble floor. A gold circle inlaid into black marble. Yes. Okay. First, two things. First of all, hacky AF. For real. Secondly, that's probably not good. Could everyone please step outside of the obviously arcane circle for a moment? Brush the dust away. Have we already walked over this circle before? Several times. I, I, know what, I know what it is. I know what it is. Rin doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what does he know? <laughs> yeah. So you're I figured there. it out because I'm smart. Rin's not smart. He's got street smarts. He does have street smarts. I panic slightly. <laughs> he did take a uh, You start sort of like, you know, sweeping the dust away oh, and you start seeing like the sort of six or eight foot wide um, the, the diameter of a summoning, a summoning circle. Uh -huh. A teleportation circle. And a wow, that was some racist shit just then. What? Oh, the dark smoke thing is evil. Fuck, man. <clears throat> I, I mean, I, not like would know. I thought I knew you. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is a teleportation circle that's been built into the you know, inlaid into the floor of this room. Okay. From a, a quick inspection, what can you get from that? Can you tell, um, like, does it have a destination? Do you know uh, the advantage of that is this is essentially linked into any other teleportation circle that you know. <clears throat> you can use this as a point to travel between. This is your fast travel point? Yeah, this is a fast travel for you because you had that spell or access to that spell. Do you, do you remember when you were looking through the teleportation circles at Mor Morncones? There was like question mark ones. Yeah, like castle, uh, 
Valaki. Uh, and there's the second one in the castle. The second one in the, the like, s- like t- ten second, feet yeah, the second one in the ca- the second one in the castle, and there was another one that had question marks that he hadn't investigated <laughs> yet. Oh, I was taking I the first one. Question about second, second one in the castle. I couldn't remember if that was actually a second one. I was trying yeah, to remember I, what I, I, th- th- I thought we were taking the piss. Like the the second teleportation circle circles is ten feet above it, so you fall down and hit the floor. I like that. Yeah, okay, we're all with that. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, you're playing with portals. One's orange, one's blue. <laughs> out, of, out of character for a minute. Maybe, maybe this could be the, the first clue from the prophecy thing. If this is where... Poker face. Oh, no. uh, okay. Oh, wait, did I have a good poker face then? I don't know. I don't know. What Do I have a tell? First? What was the first clue? <laughs> Uh, it was about the, the, the womb of darkness or something where he must return. Isn't that just his castle? Well, That's we've, what you're we've, we've, we've gone back and forth on this so many times and I have said from the beginning it would be real weird for there to be two cards that both describe just where he is. It's probably just a different place in this castle. Did it, I had the printouts for the castle we don't have, in look, this last look, session you look, were here, right? Look, yeah, look. You saw how big the castle was, right? I didn't actually we know. obviously like have been going off that assumption, dismissing it out of hand oh, like that like, is no, yeah, sure. But, but, but yeah. what what I'm getting at is, hey, this room contained a thing that made like an immortal vampire and a lich. So maybe this is the place where he was born and has to return to. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And it would make sense because this is where we fought the vampires, isn't it? Yeah. You did. Yeah. This is the yeah, room. So it would make sense that he would have people guarding this area. Although, kind of dumb to leave their, their coffins in here. Just saying. They no, weren't well, technically coffins. You mean the crates? Otherwise, it would probably, they were crates. Yeah. yeah. Indescript yeah. size crates. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, you, hey Ryan. Were you here for Shut that? up. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there was some possible bullshittery involved. There was some bullshittery. There I read. Possible see, bullshittery. there is this whole little thing where I get a block of text I read at and I read that verbatim. So, okay. hey, so I was, hey, I wasn't pointing fingers saying that that was your bullshittery. I was just saying that there was bullshittery. If it was in the like the manual in which the bullshit resides, then so yeah, be it. Then that's the fault of Wizards of the Coast LLC. <laughs> yeah, some sponsorship, please. I didn't say the crate wasn't <laughs> six foot tall. Let's ask for sponsorship. Like sponsorship while calling them on shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you have discovered a functional teleportation circle. Hey, so if we need to get the fuck out of Dodge, we can always come yeah, back to here. And you know, oh, so you go but okay, where where are the you, other? You ones? know, three uh, uh, locations that can go, currently they, that could lead to Skyrim. Tamarim. Well, there, honestly, did anyone else want to jump in on this one? Is there any other locations? Why? Uh, Los Santos. Are you saying? Are you saying out loud that it's a teleportation circle? No, I am not. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing that because uh, no, then, I am not. Then out of character just for a second, uh, you can always come back to the library because you now have like a, a fast travel point to the library. Solid point. Yeah. That, I would have said that in character if you had said it as a, as a thing, but like y- you can always come back to the library. Assuming yeah, um, we don't accidentally destroy this entire temple because that's entirely likely. You say accidentally. Well, don't fucking do that thing. He did then. say accidentally. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll jump to his defense on that one. Be he super th- careful to not fucking destroy the temple then. <laughs> it's going to be accidentally, but in that like, whoopsie doopsie, <laughs> whoopsie. my bad guys kind yeah. of way. Oh, I totally didn't see this coming. Why, yeah. did you bring, why did you bring skills, you monster? Because <laughs> <laughs> we all want diabetes. You monster. Yeah. Look, I'm it's pretty not- sure it's in, like, he does this every time to, yeah, just to slowly give us diabetes. Slowly? It's not even, actually, it's not even slowly. It's pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I'm on my third pancreas at this point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, they grow hey. back, right? <laughs> oh, darn. Guys, I think my foot just fell off. <laughs> okay. You guys are in the room. Trevor is... Oh, sorry. Why you? Morden. Is there any other names you go by? Rear Admiral. Rear Admiral. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> the... Yeah, so you've the dust out and, you, and anyone else that's sort of peering on because basically you just see this golden circle with like arcane runes um, etched in around the around the floor and Morden slash Wayu slash Trevor is excited. Hey what is the deal with this circle? Um, it's a casting circle. 
It was some form of costume puzzle. No, I don't recall there being any kind of costume circle in the magics I've studied. What is it, uh, what kind of school of magic is it? Oh, you motherfucker. Wizardry. <laughs> no need to be an ass about it. <laughs> I, Why stop I, I now? I agree, yes. Congratulations oh. for that record. I was looking it up. <laughs> Thank you for vamping on that one. <laughs> And then pausing awkwardly. <laughs> I never remember which school Conjuration is. Anyway, Teleportation. I get, stuff. Yeah, it's I guess that one and um, Abjuration. Abjuration is like shields and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah. Energy, energy stuff. Yeah. 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 Abjuration is the school of nah. No. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. 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 It's like playing. Conjuration nah. is the school of nah. Yeah. That is the most Australian <laughs> description of those two schools of magic I have ever heard. Also, the, yeah, the school of yeah, nah, and nah, yeah. This is actually helping. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, yeah. School, uh, school of invocation, that's the school of... <laughs> <laughs> the school of invocation is like, oh shit's fucked. <laughs> the school of necromancy is crikey. Oh, too soon. The guy died like 15 years ago. Oh, yeah, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It was only it was only his birthday like a week ago. Some Ooh. people said some dumb shit about it. Did they? Um, someone said. Oh yeah, Peter always says something stupid about Stephen. Oh yeah, it was, it was Peter. Birthday. Yeah, I said some people said some stupid shit, and those that's just Peter. Yeah, yeah, Peter always says stupid. That shit. fucking guy. Why do we even care what he thinks? Who is, who is Peter? Okay, so now uh, so we got you guys are in this room. <laughs> There's been a Rip. magic circle discovered. TLDL. There, like, there was. A weird Fuck period of time where some shit happened. <laughs> five minutes, only five minutes in game has actually passed, doesn't it? Like since we started. basically, yeah. yeah. Every, yeah. Everyone takes five points of psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> so Rin, Rin now goes. Well, if that is just a casting circle, I have seen you fellows uh, cast magic without use of a circle. So this does not appear to be useful to us at all. Let's go through this crack, please. After you, David. Seat on David going first. All right. So, if you remember how I described the the room before, it was to say a it's ma- there's, there's there's gold. Yeah, there is heaping piles of treasures around the uh, around the sides of the walls. Um, what? Why, why are you so excited? You just l- you just left basically your equivalent of this room that's only good for you. Now you've got to share yeah, this with three other chuckle he's only, he's, this is like the best day. He's only just started the what he's reading. Wait till the end when he goes, oh, and there's a huge ass monster in here as well. Yeah, Like next to the pies. We yeah. sort of established that it, it wasn't going to be an option for you to stealth through the crack. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're making you go through first. Oh, he's going through. through first? I thought Dave was going through first. Okay. Well, no, that's what you just said. Dave's going okay, through first. Yeah, cool. But yeah. Because the, the, I think... Rin was the only one that actually saw the room before. Uh, I, I stealthed in there pretty successfully last yep. time, so if there was anything to disturb in there, I didn't disturb it. Would you have advised us to stealth? Ah, no. <laughs> 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 Fuck you guys. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so a room that's about uh, 15 foot by 20 foot, uh, down sort of the eastern and western walls, there are stacks, I mean stacks of treasure. Uh, I think you actually asked if there was any weapons. And hey, are there any swords? There was swords. Swords. There was swords, swords and swords and swords and swords. Yep. Swords galore. Does anyone have detect magic? Nope. Well, so this uh, is I'm, this I'm, is Dave going through first. Okay. So this is what Dave and Narlag sees but via connection. Um, so yeah, there's yeah treasure down each side. Um, on the far wall from the crack that you're going through, there is a large set of amber doors um, that are closed. Uh, and in the middle of the room, there is a 10 foot statue carved from amber, amber in the likeness of a hawk headed humanoid. Hey, Ryan. Hey, that yeah. looks like a boss fight. Where did they get all this amber? You know, I think we've asked this question. I'm not sure if it was recorded or where not. Where did they get all the skulls? Well, the skulls came from people, obviously, but so where, how did they put all the skulls in there? That's the question. Yeah. Like, amber comes out of fucking trees, right? It's, it's fossilized like, tree sap. Yeah, mm. how'd they get this much? How big are the trees? Well, how long have they been collecting for? They harvested it from eucalyptus. It, it, 
we're in a place. Oh, where now we are crossing the streams because uh, the other the other game is very Norse setting. Yeah. So yeah, if they are, uh, they so they harvest. Well, we've had, there's been the, there's been to other tie-ins, but yeah, sure, let's go with Idrisil. Now, the oh, for, the, for the listening folk, Ryan shrugged with a confused, with a <laughs> sure whatever look on his face. <laughs> so the 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 statue carved out of amber is holding a sword. Uh, Did you say that? No, no. Did I imagine that? You I, literally just made that up in your head just now. Yeah. I like it sword. though. How? I vote for that. Is it? It's not holding a sword. It is. Can it be? Um, it, it, think, think sort of um, like Egyptian sort of you know, like the the, 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 the animal headed god Horus? look. It's a, it's a hawk one. It's, it's quite sort of it's it's stone it's stone work, so it's it's always sort of quite buff. Like, and okay. buff. No, like no one asked, dude. <laughs> Um, how, 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 I'm sorry, how ripped was the statue? Should I roll for that? No, I think I just gave it to you for free. <laughs> yeah, this what, what statue, kind of, what kind, like, what kind of anyway, package is the, uh, is the before, statue going on? Hey, hey, hey. Before we do anything. Currently, currently <laughs> Narlag and Dave are the only ones that you can actually see in the room. I've, um, seen, I've seen it already. He's, seen, he's, he's, he's had a look inside I before. said currently. Whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Narlag, are there any, like, moving top, into the top room. statues in the room? Okay. And how, like, how, how, big is, to how big is the statue's the statue Because it looks like yeah, a fucking boss fight. I feel like this statue is going to be something. It's going to be a boss fight. Yeah. It's a giant statue in a room full of treasure. Well, yeah, but yeah. we... Okay. I, okay. Sorry. What's what's Nalek saying to the rest of us right now? That was Nalek's voice. I know that wasn't her. Um, well, the first statue everyone, we came across. Everyone, there's a, there's a giant statue in here. Telepathically. Um... I'd suggest being cautious. It might activate. This Rin goes through the tunnel. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll go through. through it. Going through. Uh, no, he, recklessly. 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 Has this uh, statue? Come on, let's go. Okay, so as we go, all get in. Uh, uh, this like Scooter style. It can, it can see us. Well, well, like like, like we are in view d- of d- it and it d- is d- of us. D- like d- as you're coming in d- through, d- well, as d- 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 uh, what, what's your what's your order coming through? Well, Nal- um, Dave's gone through first. Rin's going through second because you basically barreled through. Oh no, I thought Nalan was behind Dave. Sure. Okay, Dave then Rin. I'll go next. And you already you did call last. Okay. Okay. So by lasty. Dave comes through into the room. What does he do? Flies to the ceiling. Flies to the ceiling. Nalag comes into the room. What does he do? Uh, let's see. It's a giant statue. Like, sort of... S- and like, you're walks from... Off, walks off what you're looking at side. is you're looking at the rear of the statue because it is facing towards the amber doors at the far end of the room. Ah, How nice okay. is it? Does. Um, steps to the side so that people... Shapely. <laughs> Doesn't tick. Um, steps to the side so that people on the other side of the crack can get through. Yep. Uh, Rin. Steps to the other side. Yep. <laughs> Ulrich. Ulrich. Uh, Straight How close are we to this statue? Uh, about 10 feet away. And how big is it? What did I say? 10 feet tall? 10 foot tall. Wait, we're only 10 feet. Okay. Um, it's a 15 by 20 foot room. So oh, wow. That's not, okay. I thought it, the room was going to be bigger. Um, Rin is going to tentatively pad over to the statue and poke it with his stick. I'm going to activate my shield before he does that. <laughs> As I see him going over, I'm like... Mm, yeah, I... What I, the I, fuck? Okay, so you poke at it, mm-hmm. um, and you're basically like... Tunk, tunk. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you get that sort of sound, like... Because I think you've actually used your stick on a couple of the amber doors before, one of the first couple of ones you came across. I think you poked at them, if I remember right. It sounds mm-hmm. right. Um, it's got that same sort of feeling. It's, it feels like you're hitting against a... Uh, what, and a semi-precious stone at this point? Uh, I'm, I, I, uh, I'll walk around in front of the statue and look at its face. Uh, okay, what do you get? Rin's not afraid of anything, you cowards. <laughs> mm-hmm. Essentially, yeah. this is what it looks like. Like I said, Rin became a giant dick. It is packing a sweet hog. <laughs> Sorry, what, what did you mean? risk the life of your for? character just to establish that? You didn't that, walk around in front of the statue. It. You don't get to see the picture. Okay. Because you're a coward. Um, um, why are you? It's only been seconds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're all like, oh, the statue's going to come alive and be a boss fight, and I'm going to be very afraid of it. It's a fucking statue, guys. Come on. Yeah, but Grow the fuck up. We've been in the room for how many seconds now? 
probably about 30 at this point from okay. the point that Dave yeah. first I, wandered I, in. I can start moving, yeah. Uh, I stick ahead the inside third crack, see everyone else, like two thirds of like people freaking out, you're poking the damn thing, like tech magic, arcana check. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I was waiting for. That is going to be a 15 plus something. So you're doing your tech magic or arcana? Sorry. Uh, both in order. So cast tech magic. Okay. Let's have a look. Tech magic. Inspect my gadget. Get out. Very strong with Jemison. Okay. That is the best accent I've ever heard you do. You should, your next Nothing character. you have ever done has come anywhere close to that. Your next character should have that thick Russian accent. Yeah. Nah, you fucked it. <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> That's what yeah, I think it's da. The. Da. That's what Danyar from Rod. I will uh, break you. Okay. Glancing over the piles of treasure you see in one of the piles off to your right hand side towards sort of the middle of the the, sort of the middle of the wall um is you can sort of see like the the edge of a sword hilt that is pinging in your uh in your vision and let me just check for one other thing okay the statue is also pinging magic oh funny that beauty gumdrops Rin is climbing I was, on the statue. I was really hoping that it wouldn't. <laughs> like, all right. Just a, just a statue. Okay. Hey, so, I mean, statue. so far, ten, ten so far we've climbing. been attacked by... Okay. Well, not all He's statues that were... He's really just embracing across, your... your a decent, push, a decent Rin, portion. Rin is climbing up the statue. If you can give me a athletics. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I roll with 16. Yep. You basically sort of like scramble up one of the legs, uh, and then sort of hook your hand against against one of the uh, the arms that's sort of in a sort of striding position. Uh, swing yourself up, and then sort of sit yourself up on, on the uh, on the left shoulder, and sort of looking down at everyone else, and swinging your legs. It's like, can I see anything good from this vantage point? You see a shitload of treasure. You can see your house from here. He doesn't have a house though. You don't know that. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's you a, don't know how he lives. That's a cruel assumption. I'm Do you think he's sure. homeless? Yes. Yeah, I'm with you on that actually. <laughs> he's just on holidays at the moment. Sabbatical. For being a dick. The house of Rin. Oh, I'd read that. His yeah. name is Rin Rin. Yeah. Look. Hang on, do that again. <laughs> no. Do it again, 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 do it again. I've known you longer. Do it again. His house is Rin. His name is Rin Rin. Hello. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was waiting for myself okay. to stop laughing. Give me a. You. Thank you for covering for me. Give me an investigation if you have me looking around, looking around the room. Uh, that's a number. Thirteen. Thirteen. So scanning across the piles, you know, one pile has got a whole pile of like copper coins. You can see like the glinting of some gemstones. You can see bits and pieces of armor and uh, shields. Um, you can see also see like a small, like child size sarcophagus. <laughs> another, <laughs> what? Uh, another another pile is more silver coins than than anything else. Um, and you see the more armor pieces. You see, um, you can see like this fancy sword in a um, like a pink glass hilt, a similar sort of uh, pink to your glasses that you picked up off the Arcana Loft. That seems weird for you to point out. It's just describing the uh, the, the color that we're looking at, um, and all this is sort of piled up around a gilded chariot. Um, the another another pile, a whole pile more coins. They look like electrum. Um, uh, a whole pile of bottles, 
Um, there is a trunk. You can see some more jewels. Uh, you can also see uh, the ceramic statues of looks like religious style statues. Um, another pile is mostly like iron ingots and um, various like holy symbols. Like this is a treasure room. I'm gonna I keep on going, but I'm only about halfway through the list. You see treasure. There treasure. is a lot of treasure. Um, I just rolled a twenty on a perception investigation. Also, but that's nineteen, I guess. So yeah, uh-huh. for me, so I start looking around as well. Uh, pretty much continue on that yeah. same list. You yeah. are finding, finding like piles and piles of the treasure. sword that you mentioned. Yeah, I okay. Look closer at it. I don't want to. He's the one that anything. he's the one that spotted it. Um, it's magic. because of that, ma- he spotted it because of the magic vision. Whether he shared that information, I'm not touching. He is I'm not, not sh- touching. He has not shared that information. At so far, I will go as far as to say that the uh, the statue is magic. Uh, and I mean, having been in this situation before, let's all think twice about touching anything. We, yeah, there is. You know, there, you're, there say, you're saying about, that while Rin is like like piggybacking on on the side of the statue, like. Let's try to either side, it. straddling its head, like being like riding it like the the nuclear bomb in Doctor Strange Love. Let's try to avoid touching. What is Let's this? try to avoid touching anything else. Hi. Um. Start. Dave starts trying to grab up some gemstones and shove them in his mouth to contain him. It's like free shit. Fuck yeah, gems. Let's get them. Give me a roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah. Dexterity save. Dexterity save. You're the, basically you're sort of sitting there like, at this point, just showing off like bouncing one legged up on top of the head of this thing, just like doing the whole like, like basically like yoga pose sort of thing. Just sh- you are living your best monk, and then the whole statue beneath you starts to like shift and turn, and the the head beneath you is like turning on the turning on like a um. I'm behind its head though. Are you behind the head now? Are you? That's what I was. I was straddling behind its yep. head. Okay, so you sort of uh, <laughs> slip down behind the head, and the whole head just like turns, like it's on its own like individual pivot, and turns, and then sort of dips down to face towards Dave. Uh, out of there. Excuse me, I I believe you may have triggered some kind of uh, security countermeasure. And yes, if you guys can roll me initiative. Who would have thought touching the tre- treasure would <laughs> would start the trap? <laughs> <laughs> Touching the Trevor both always of, both of those things generally end with I got a twenty three. I got a two, but Dave's currently proofed out of existence, oh. so I still roll his initiative. Cause I was uh, yeah, because yeah. it's going to take you some time to uh, get him back. But because I rolled five, but um, if two, two's worse than five, yeah. Well, my initiative is plus two, so I got a four. Dave Second a, comes right after first. So you got four total, did you? Okay. Mm-hmm. Dave got 17. 17. But you can't do anything. You can't, you can't do anything because you've got to spend time to summon him back. It's uh, just a bonus action to go poof, he's back oh, out. Fair enough. Uh, why are you? Uh, nine. Nine? Oh, Rick, what did you actually get? Five. Well, not necessarily lost. Uh, I missed one. Yeah, they did lost. So we're looking at. Um, do you have anything to. Down a golem. Like Do you have the spell slow? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you may, I this ver- is why I'm not giving up my right to complain. I very clearly stop to 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 like make two things very clear. I'm not fucking doing that anymore, and don't touch anything in the room. <laughs> you don't listen. Uh, also no. What? <laughs> also no. <laughs> Gazer got us in trouble again. All right. So, Rin, you are on back of now animated statue. Uh, so I'm like I'm picturing the 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 image I had was he's like sort of straddling like the back of its neck sort of thing behind its head. Yep. So you're basically doing a full Nelson on its head. Yeah. Uh, get my walking stick. Yep. And uh, smash out one of its eyes. Okay. Nice. Over it. Uh, it's a twenty-four. That is mm, ten damage. Ten damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be no, 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 no. 
is mid. Yep. And do it again for 22 to hit. Yep. Nine damage. Yep. And then... Can I, I... I don't know how this... If this is even a thing I could do. As a bonus action, can I sort of like secure myself to where I was like steady myself as a bonus as a bonus action I can hit him again or I'm thinking like as a bonus action can I just like make sure I'm not gonna fall off sort of thing yeah I can wait for that yeah cool that's what I'm thinking yeah, yeah I, can, I can roll with that uh Dave is not there man why you do we need do we need a vamp for you so you can uh, you know what you absolutely freaking know <laughs> oh come on dude I'm gonna put this on, on here. There we go. Now get in the zone of being a wizard. All right, I'm a wizard. I'm doing wizardy stuff. Um, and while you vamp, I'm gonna get a drink. In that case, don't say anything funny for the next thirty seconds. Um, out of character. What did Dave do? Oh, well, why would I say anything that I've been doing for like the last two hours? <laughs> Lol. How fractal is the spell magic, like uh, offensively against magic creatures? It dispels spell effects, not just a thing that's magical. Yeah. Stop being magic. Boom. Yeah, it's just that like you don't do that on a, on, a, on a unicorn or something that you pick up a horse. Yeah, if it's a spell like... That's a lot easier to deal with, though. Like, you just get a hacksaw. Yeah. <laughs> well, like... If you see, like, some dude, like, raise a zombie, you go dispel magic with minimal zombies. So, hmm, sort of depends. If it was a spell effect animating it specifically, yes. Hmm. So yeah, but a magic creature is a magic just like creature. a bunch if of spells tied together. If you cast it when they together. made the thing. Yeah. Anyway, so no. This spell magic in this situation, no. Uh, no. Uh, okay, well then that is the thing that I definitely don't do. I definitely don't do that thing. Well, okay. So by process of elimination, we're getting closer. All right. <laughs> we have 20 would, million other spells you could I would think just yeah, hasty. Yeah, he hasn't learned, learned them all yet. He's... I'm pretty sure he can, use, he can spend the rest of his existence in that library and probably... Get most of the way through it. Good luck, Uh, that is going to be Phantasmal Force. All right. I'm going to cast a spell called Phantasmal Force. Yep. Phantasmally. Fan fucking tastically. Yep. Uh, do, 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 and for a 10, 10, how big did you say it was? 10 foot? 10 foot. That is going to be a uh, a, a ten a foot sized, uh, let's say. I mean, it's pretty much just like gimp wear. Okay, this is some sort of uh, saving throw. Uh, int sixteen. So no. Yeah, it passes. It's a cl it's one of them clever statues. Oh damn! Or it's rolled, one of those things. Or it just rolled a sixteen. Or it, it just has advantage on things. Yeah. Magical. Because it's a magic thing. It's a magic thing. What is a magic thing? Anything else? I can do anything I, on a fail? I can keep going. Yeah, does it do anything on a, fa on a fail? Um, oh no, it definitely doesn't. No. I also have that spell. Alright. All right. Dude, look at the wizards. So look just to clarify, magical when spell. all this happened, I was looking at the sword, right? You were looking... Like, I, I'd i seen this sword, I'd walked over to it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You've seen a hilt, and it was a fairly ornate hilt. I pick it up. Alright. You are consumed, utterly. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me look up that little actual bit that sword weapon. Wait. Was the sword that Rin saw, and the sword that... Why you saw the same sword? I saw many swords. There have been I many mean, like swords. like the one with the rose glass hilt and the, one, the magic one that she saw. Are they the same sword or a different one? How would you know? I have described one person's vision and the, another person's vision. The bigger vision. question is how would Ulrich know the one that was magically flashing from what... Uh, from what... Actually, give, why you saw? give me a d6 roll and I'll determine whether you're looking at the right pile of treasure. Then I'm going to probably say no, but sure, I will do it. 
It's that bit from Kubo and the Two, stri- and the two Strings where they're just like two. going through all of the fucking swords trying to find the right magical one. You had a one fun. in six chance of getting that right. One in six. You picked the right fucking pile. I am not joking. I rolled a two on that as well. I was determining which one it was randomly in. So yeah, you grab hold of this. It's like a golden... Oh, I've actually got to make sure the, uh, the right... It's like fate. <laughs> so you're working under the assumption at this point that this is... No, I'm hoping. <laughs> There's no okay. <laughs> like it, it's a, just a big hope that I'm gonna pick up a sword and it's gonna do more damage than the fucking thing I have. So That's are a, you okay? So hang on. Are you picking up? Are you picking up a sword hoping that it's going to be a useful sword, yeah. or are you picking up this sword thinking or hoping that it's going to be? The I'm sword well. I'm hoping anymore? it's it's the sword that we're here for. But at the same time, if it just happens to be a magic sword that is more yeah. useful than the current weapon... So Basically, better. any magical sword would do, because I want a magical sword. Okay, so you're picking up a magic sword, mm. and you don't think that that is the magic sword. It doesn't I'm, know I, no, I don't know. Hopes it's the magic sword. I'm hoping... It so, but yeah, okay, you, you hope it is, but you don't think it is. He's pretty dumb. He yeah. probably like went, this is probably this is pointy. Yeah, and... It's the fate of the gods. Like, the gods will either give me the sword or they won't. Hey, okay. maybe you can stick a stick to this new magic sword and use it like a normal ball arm. It's true. I could do that. <coughs> hey, DM, what happens <coughs> next? Okay, so you pick up this... You, you, what you see is this sword hilt sticking out of this pile of treasure. It's um, like a... Like a like a dark iron, hi- dark iron hilt, um, quite an ornate um, uh, cross guard, cross guard to it, uh, with a gemstone set in, set in each side near where the uh, the blade would come out. Um, the leather strapping around the actual hilt, where the where the where the handle is, is surprisingly good condition for something that looks like that's been there for some time. Like it is maintained. It looks like it's been regularly maintained, but it's been in a treasury for God knows how long. Hmm. Um, as you sort of Which pull, is in itself a fairly good indication it's magic. As you pull the um the the so the the hilt away from the treasure pile, you can see that there is just like the fragments of crystal coming out of it. The rest of the blade is shattered and gone. Yeah. Oh, we have got a builder sword now. That sucks. I've got to take it to the builder sword workshop. Um, it's going to be hard to hit the the statue with a broken sword. You instantly feel this sensation through you, which is sort of like death, <laughs> like a like a burning sensation <laughs> in you. Yeah, you know, like a, like a, like an itching, burning <laughs> sensation. It's yeah. kind of it's a magical STD. It's very similar to the fervor that you already have for as far as it goes for destroying sort of wickedness in a land you know it's your sort of whole conquest deal is sort of destroying wickedness in a land and then sort of taking over for yourself or for your um for your order this sensation is sort of similar sort of tenacity to it but its ultimate goal and you can feel is very centric to Barovia. It has a desire and its own personality to cleanse this land of evil. Just my luck to pick up an intelligent sword. Hmm? Um, okay, cool. Um, you... Yeah, so you get this sort of... Yeah, it's it's... It's similar enough to your own sort of motivations, so that it's not clashing, but it is a foreign emotion and foreign experience to your own in sort of internal monologue, or your internal, your internalized emotions. Um, but but it's broken, and sort of you, you look down at the blade and he hears just some some nice beats in the background, and then. What is love? No, no, no! <laughs> Come on! No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna do that. That's a. That's a, That's a bad deal. Um. How do you respond to that? Do you sort of 
inside Ulrich's head currently. <clears throat> oh, this is this is a lot of <laughs> this is a lot of <laughs> echoey in here. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is all new. Okay. Um, didn't didn't know we we're gonna get all thinky. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, do we, do we I mean, I, I'm going to. Do you want Treasure to vamp, uh, Trevor to, to vamp for a little bit? <laughs> I'm going to respond positively because it's it's very similar to my. As you said, it's very similar to my own feelings. I'm and it it feels like this object, which I'm assuming to be magical now that it is like, like um, so is aligned with my own. So you get this sort of feeling, yeah. You sort of offer up that sort of emotional sort of acknowledgement of, of, in kind, I guess. Mm. Um, you get this sort of, oh, you're falling. Warmth sensation. Oh, the whole thing's falling over. Excuse me. Not that one. Um, you sort of this warmth sensation, like like someone is coming in for a hug. I'm good at hugs. What are you doing? See what is love, goddammit. Oh, fair enough. How do you... Re- how do you... Um, so, it, you said like, as, as in this is all, still all in my head, obviously. Yep. Okay. Um, I respond in kind? I... I you kiss it? <laughs> Uh, I respond back. Deep I still respond back positively. Sword. Like it, it's, this seems fair, like I am so um, positive in my own. Your emotions. I am so positive in my own goodness. Hey, Graham. Roll for me, please. I am so positive in my own goodness that I would I would know if something was evil and something was trying to take me over. This doesn't feel evil, so I'm going to respond with love. And joy, and the jo- well, the joy that, like, bringing death to an entire like area of bad guys just makes you feel psychopathy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you anything. sort of feel like this warmth wash over you, like the the, the it 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 spreads from sort of like your chest and and it sort of like again sort of wraps around you like a hug, and then it's like. Spreading from your your sort of the, the core of your torso upwards to your to your, your under your jaw and then downwards down through your legs to through the soles of your feet, um, all the way down your arms. You just feel this warmth, and what everyone else sees from out from outside this this vision is Ulrich sort of standing there and the this broken sword in his hand that's just beginning to sort of emanate this glow. And then the glow sort of flares, and from that crisp, broken crystal in the in the hilt, a blade of light forms. I have a lightsaber. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah! If you, um, if you want to, add and it. you can force lightning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what color what color is your lightsaber? Well, it's clearly. Do we need a Buzzfeed uh, quiz to figure this out? Well, I was clearly. Gonna <laughs> we say. always need a Buzz Buzz. We always need a BuzzFeed quiz for this. I was going to say purple, but you know, that's... I'm just going to add an item to your inventory. Also, I have a lightsaber. Um, but why would... While I'm, I'm also going to hazard a guess that it's magical. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm also going to just jump no, onto it. <laughs> while I'm doing that, no, like you can start to tell, tell, tell me you're doing, because yeah. Use an item as an action. Uh, I think this whole this whole deal is going to take up your time. That's fair. Are, I, are you, are you I, okay I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine with that to get a fucking lightsaber. I cast Phantasmal Force on it again. Well, not again. I cast Phantasmal Force on it, and I resummon Dave um, in the air, hopefully out of reach of it. So DC 15 Intelligence saving throw. Thank God. Are you just copying why you... I mean, I was going to do that Get anyway. your own thing, yo. Jesus. Jeez, man. Well, I mean, like, I am going to swap that spell out for something else next level, but, you know. <laughs> I've gotten one use out of it. <laughs> Bless you. All right. You have a new item in your inventory attuned to you currently. All right. So, what was the saving throw on the... DC oh, it's attuned to me. Um, DC 15 oh, intelligence. Yeah. yeah, fuck. Oh, fuck's sake. 
Um, but yeah, Dave's out again. Dave's now here, man. All right. Hey, what is the what is the statue for? What's his name? What's his what's his deal? Okay. What's his motivation for this scene? You you're sort of like gripped onto the back of it still. The whole head Woo! the whole head like turns like it's now turned a full one eighty from from a stand, uh, from its normal position. So now the head's facing directly over its back. So you're now looking you're you're sort of at the front of it. Cool. It so sort of turns so it's a giant animal. Ooh. Mm, kind of. Say it, it had it, a bird head. It did have a bird head. It was more of a um a hawk. But Ooh. yeah. Who? Who? That's pretty fucking cool. Who are you? Um it then turns like another 90 degrees and you're sort of over the top of one of its shoulders and you sort of just hear the sound of creaking behind as one of the fists lines up behind its head Dave, and then just goes... Can I make a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> no, because it's making a magic attack. It's making a, <laughs> attack. Because how cool would that be if I got <laughs> out of the way of it? <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Think cinematically for a second. Also, I don't get hurt in this situation. I like it. Like <laughs> Alright, so the first one hits... Uh, what's your AC? 18. That hits. Boom. Mm -mm. Fire round. I actually rolled low, and then it was a natural to hit roll. <laughs> How did it know I was there? It's got to be on the back of its head. <laughs> it has higher intelligence than I do. <laughs> sword. And, sword. And higher wisdom. And nearly the same amount of charisma. I don't believe that. 21 bludgeoning damage. Oh, well, cool. Bye, guys. It's been fun. Um, and it's sort of like... Actually, it's going to do some damage to itself in that, in that process as well. Yep. It sort of like jolts forward because it just punched itself in the back of the head. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then starts to like walk awkwardly sideways the way it's facing towards where Ulrich is and takes a swipe at Ulrich uh, 22 it hits that hits my 21 hey this is uh, gonna hurt I'd say this is gonna hurt a lot it's gonna hurt 23 bludgeoning ouch Rin. That lightsaber better come handy, man. I, I, I'd just like to say, ouch. <laughs> yep. I will smack it in the head with my walking stick. Recovering from being pulverized into the back of its skull. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Sorry. When I uh, smashed its eyes before, uh, was there a sense of like its eyes are differentiated from the rest of it at all? Was that like like a thing? You sort of chipped away at like part of like the the like the stonework that makes mm. up the shape of its eyes. Okay. You can't tell whether it's actually done like whether those are have hindered its ability. I'll just do it again. I'll smash it in the face, around the eye, the eye, eye section. Yep. The eye region, the eye... Ivories. Ooh, 13. That's a miss. Yeah, uh, that's that's fair. That's that's fair. <laughs> uh, second attack, uh, 17. That hits. Ooh. Getting closer. Uh, so... Damage. So close, you actually hit. Is a 11. 11 damages. Yep. Um. I mean, there's no point in trying to get away from it because it can go anywhere in this room, right? So uh, it can't yeah. attack all of us at once. So we scatter. Yeah, scatter. Uh, I'm going to spend a key point mm -hmm. to take a disengage action and I'm going to fucking backflip off of its head yep in a different direction from where Ulrich is yep that's sort of hitting you're hitting onto the sort of the eastern side of the side mm. of the room um, yeah but it's like a cool backflip like if it was in the matrix it would like sort of slow down 
sort of the, the bullet the bullet time going on. Around. He like land in the thing and yeah, sort of. Yeah. You sort of land on top of one of the treasure piles and like some of the coins and everything start to sort of shift underneath. Sort of you. like a like a perfect circle of sort of like a crater around him, like and a just man like, landing thing, or a little like like Dragon Ball Z ish, where like the yeah. flare of like yeah. all these golden coins go up around you. It's baller. Is yeah, it, it's a good look. It's yeah. a good look. All right, Dave. Um, Dave is going to contribute with two items. These are magic arrays, are they not? They are magic. Um, so that was a a theory DC twelve wisdom saving throw. Pass. God damn it! Stop rolling twos again. And a DC twelve strength saving throw. Pass. Yeah, I think it was probably going to pass the strength one. Uh, why are you? Um. All right. So on the detect magic. Yep. Can you go back and um, what pinged off that? Sorry. What pinged off that? The sword that he's now got in his hand. Yep. And the golem. That's it? Yeah. Everything else is... Looks like a lot of treasure. Nothing, no, nothing. Apart from, obviously, I will always disregard what everyone else is, like, carrying. It's worth yeah, gold, yeah. but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of money worth of stuff okay. here. I thought there was some good else. stuff there. Yeah, okay. Golem, right. sword. I was, I was flicking through the list. There, there was nothing else. There's better attack damage than the... I went, like, normally, because it's... My glaive's the one d 10 plus 3. A legendary weapon. That's smarter than me. This is hilarious, by the way. Yeah. What's up here? One second. I only have four twit like, four strings. It has stats. Does it talk? It's a sentient weapon. Does it sing? Does it? It talks to his can brain. It, it, can it, it sing? Has, it has run, 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 run. Can it sing? Can it fall That's in a love different with weapon. Them? There's actually singing swords. It can, has. Can it fall in love with Hello, swords? my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, Hello, right. yeah. I'm yeah. It has a wisdom and intelligence and charisma stat. Yep. But, uh, okay. So I'm Which I guess makes sense because it wouldn't be able to have the other three because it's not. But it can definitely talk then because there is yeah. no point in it having stats if it can't do anything. Yeah? Has it said anything? Has it said anything else? I mean, it is just communi- got like a sense of does, does, it just, does it just tweet? Is that what it does? Yeah, like communicating it's emotion. It's made me feel low. No, it has an intelligence stat, so clearly it doesn't tweet. Lol. Have you do- are you done vamping again? <laughs> I mean, I could do with another 30 seconds if you want to. Ow! Hey, so oh, Bindi, I'll go back to life degree. Where's my sword? I'm putting it on carpet so it doesn't fly it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Lol. Uh, I cast a spell. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, but like, if well. you're going to keep the idea of that, I'm just going to lean into it. Uh, <laughs> Haste. I'm going to cast a magical spell Who called kill Haste. Vampires, can't he? Uh, and Rin gets faster. That's a touch or is that a range? I never check that. That's a good point. I'm pretty sure you got to touch it. Yeah. Well, never mind. Two. Oh, Sorry. I saw. You can move. Yeah, yeah. Like if yeah. I can, if I can make the distance. Um, you definitely can move. But that is also going to be a. Like run over, tag, and then get the sword to be able to dodge. Face it, if it wants to go after you, there is no place you can hide ex- short of going back through the crack and leaving the room. Nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. I don't know if that's actually it's a touch. song. It's not touch. Yeah, we could. It's not. Yeah, that's fine. Thirty feet. Hi. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. So I'm all. You're, I'm you're, all hasty. You're all juiced up. Yo, yo, just up. He's all messed up. Cool, I can run away really fast. See ya. Bye. So Imagine this is not blurring away. AC, meep, meep. Dex, and an additional action. That can be used for a punch in. Single, single punch or punch, 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 punch rude. Can be used to take one weapon attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an action. Hey, 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 hey. Morden, for real, sir. Yes. Thank you. Hey, I got you. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, okay. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Too far away. On myself. 
Um, so I now have two more AC. Yep. Because, damn. That hurt. Uh, I'm then going to attack it. Yep. With my new magical lightsaber. With Yay. your sword. With my sword. Your sword and justice. And there we go. Do that number. Okay. And so. Roll or die. So. Roll or die. Grace of tile means That's I not what can I said. use. Oh, wait. You already no. used strength on attacking, don't you? You know how to so attack. You've done yeah, this many yeah. times before. Oh, no, okay, yeah. Your stats, are already, yeah, yeah. your stats will automatically go into it. So the, the, read the numbers next to the sword. That's what yeah. you rolled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you're using favor like me, you don't uh, have to do any attacks. So 17. Out of hits. Uh, out of curiosity, would 15 have hit? No. Cool. So the sword's already being useful. Uh, I'm using two hands because my shield has yep. already been activated. Yep. Which means I do 1d10 damage instead of 1d8. Uh, so seven damage, radiant damage, and then I'll attack it again because I get two attacks. That I think your sun sword specifically does actually do extra damage as an undead as well. But this is an undead, is it? No, no, it's not dead. That would be freaky. Like um, it lived a full life as a tree. It lived a full life as a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the first attack? Yep. And the second attack was eight. Eight damage. Because I got, I, I rolled a nineteen, so yeah, on the damage on the hit. So does it, it as it lights it? Does it just kind of go through it? It's basically like, okay. And does it make a vroom vroom kind of noise? I'm pretty sure that might be under like copyright. Oh. Well, I make a vroom vroom kind of noise as, it, as I. All right, so. <laughs> Because um, it's pretty. Stop touching it. Um, don't do this thing. No. Don't do what thing? Don't do this thing. I just saw what you had on your phone. Don't do this thing. <laughs> please don't do this. Thing. <laughs> don't like please anything else. Literally oh, anything else. God. Don't do this thing. Why not though? <sighs> <laughs> oh god, okay, yeah, yep. Do that it's, thing. It's, it's an amazing spell, and it works well. But no, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to cast Hex on it, give it disadvantage on intelligence checks, and then hit it with Eldritch Blast twice. Disadvantage on these intelligence checks, or yep. intelligence saves, or does it do both? <laughs> um, intelligence checks, not saves. Okay. Um, so that's a 17 plus 7 to hit. Yep. I'm so proud of you. And that's a 17. 17 total. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. I'm so proud of you. Yes, I, I, I am. I am not a one-trick pony. He's a two-trick pony. Yep. So that is an eight and a seven, and a five, and a four. Okay. And then twelve. So twenty-four damage. And then I'm gonna go like try and run into the crack. Okay. All right. So you gone. You went and flipped off to the back. All right. It was cool as well. Yes, it was cool. At this point, it's going to go. It's going ham on. Uh, actually. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. It's. That's why I I gave myself the extra AC. <laughs> I'm hoping it will actually do any good. Yeah, I'm going to hit you twice. So 23 and 21. What was the AC? It is now 23. Okay, so one of those two hits. This is going to hurt. Yes, it will. Uh, 13 and 19 bludgeoning. Uh, I can't take too many more of those. Uh, Rin. Fueled with magical energy, he uh, bursts out of the pile of treasure, flinging himself at the golem. Yep. Uh, spinning, spinning with his uh, walking stick. Twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom. 
Uh, smack it with the walking stick. Yep. Uh, lots. 17 plus 7. 27. Is that your damage? That's the hit. Okay, yeah. Uh, that is 12 damage. Yep. And I'm going to spend a key point to stun it. That's a save? It's, yeah, it saves on something. Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Con save, DC 14. This is not a spell or a magic effect. Uh, okay, so it rolled a 19. That's better than a 14. So 24 or lower. You can just tell me it's to fuck. You can just tell me to fuck off, Ryan. That's a pretty high. Fuck concept. off, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, if it has dis- if it has like advantage on spells and whatever, does that mean Eldritch Blast has? I had to roll that with disadvantage. No, it's got. It's only got um advantage against saving throws. Nothing okay. to do with. It. I've I've read that a couple of times. Make sure it didn't have like you didn't have disadvantage on casting it. Just just on the saves for spells and magical effects. Wicked. That's cool. I'll smack it again. Uh, twenty three. Yep. Uh, that's twelve damage. Yep. Smack it a third time because I'm real fast. That's a lot. Uh, and 12 damage again. That's that's 36 damage you've done in this round. And as a bonus action, I will make another unarmed attack. Yep. 16. Misses. Ooh. That's my turn, guys. I hit it three times. Good job. Dave. Um, Dave is going to shoot a couple of light beams again. It's a one, so it's... So, uh, Wisdom and Dexterity for a DC 12. Pass the first one. Fails the second one. Oh, cool. That's actually really good. Um, what's the second one? So the Dexterity save, I know that much. Is this a... So that takes um, 11 points of cold damage and its speed is halved. Nice. Yeah. Go Dave. Woo! Which... Woo! Woo! Yeah, Dave! <laughs> Make, this. Make love to me, Dave, please! That's Everyone fine. just stops and starts clapping. <laughs> like, at the end of those made-up stories where someone does something, like, really cool and, like, the whole class just stands up and claps. Yeah. Well, it's, even the statue's, like, fucking... Yeah, Dave. This is yeah. very slowly. I deserve that. <laughs> Half thing. Steph, she's like, yeah, I really deserve that talking down to. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Uh, does Hex... What did you choose for Hex? Uh, disadvantage on intelligent checks. Hex. Not saving throws, checks. Uh, so... So it doesn't matter, it's not going to do anything. Well, yes and no. If it's if it fails on the spell, if it decides to like do an arcana check on one of us, it's going to have a problem with it. Or if it tries to investigate an illusion, it will fail. That's your spell point. <laughs> yeah, like it, it it will have disadvantage on checking like doing intelligence type things. I mean, it's the giant stone thing. It's probably already not very intelligent, but I want to make it even more so we can sort of cover up the crack and get the fuck out of there. Okay. So, for instance. Phantasma Force is that does it still have advantage because it had advantage it, before d- you, you, no you don't have advantage but you would have adva- it would have disadvantage if it succeeded if your spell succeeded I mean okay so yeah. we still got advantage on the save yep but, but if advantage on trying to check on that afterwards yes okay alright well fart noise for that anyway um I am going to make a beeline for the crack you guys are going to get stuck like the three fucking stooges in that crack. <laughs> yeah, Narlag's like already in the crack. We'll move over. Yeah. Move over. I'm also, Charlie. like, I had a, like a bit of trouble getting yeah. through it, didn't I? Yeah. Like, you were a tight squeeze. Yeah. So, so it's gonna it's literally going to be like, these these three are going to be like wrestling, and then you're going to come charging through and like pop them all through like Well, corks. am I even going to fit through it? Like, not with, you'd have to sort of push them through. Yeah. 
All right, right. we're assuming this thing isn't just going to follow us. Kool-Aid man through the door. I'm not assuming it's not going to follow. I'm just assuming that I'm going to be faster than you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not outrunning the tiger here. Uh, Make a beeline for the crack and uh, hold uh, Fantastic Four. All right. Isn't the crack only 10 feet away? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So... I mean, if he's literally in and it. And you're, you're holding, it, holding the spell? Yep. Okay. Uh, Ulrich. Uh, well, I've <laughs> taken a fuck ton of damage, so mm-hmm. um, I'm going to lay on hands mm-hmm. uh, and use up Did my entire amount of lay on hands. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my action, I guess. Malak. Blast. That's a six plus seven. That's nope. Um, yeah. And that's a fourteen. Nope. Okay. Um. I don't. Th- don't think you get a second thing after that, do you? Oh no. It's, it's I have had a bonus action. Yep. I'm, try- I'm trying to think if I'm going to get dazed to try and help me. So like two power of resistance. Hmm. But I am going to walk a little bit further through the hole. Mm-hmm. Am I still able to see the... If you go further in, you're not going to be able to see the fight. Uh, you can't have it both ways. <sighs> I want to be able to see it, so I'll stay where I am. Okay. The golem's head turns, like, again, on, on the pivot and faces towards you. And you see sort of like the, the eyes sort of flare up with this light. Um, oh good it's a goal uh, one two three four if everyone can make me a wisdom saving throw oh boy oh god am I close to I chuckles over here I think everyone would be in range everyone would be in range so that's plus how many three that's fucking wicked 23 you're fine 17 you're not uh, just a second uh, sorry, wisdom was it? Yep. Eighteen. Uh, you're fine. Eighteen. You're fine. You're now floating. Oh, and once a day is closed. You are now. Oh, did you use proof of mad or not? He did. Um, so that is a not good. No, not enough. You are both floated. Ugh. Oh no. So you can't use reactions. Your speed is halved. Um, you can't make more than one att- attack on your turn. Um, and you can only choose to do an action or a bonus action on your turn, not both. Oh no. Oh no. What would oh. happen if I were slow? It just negates the haste, doesn't it? It doesn't say, actually. They don't, they don't have an interact between the two, but... I think you would get both effects. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like doing uppers and downs at the same time. Like, it doesn't negate, it just fucks you up. <laughs> I don't know what that's like. It depends which ones you do. You, you wanna? <laughs> we'll, you we'll, we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> uh, Rin's gonna hit the fucking statue with his stick. Yep, like like he's done for the past three turns. Unlike fucking everybody else. Hi. Hi. Hey. I, I, we were like that is true. I did. People at this that's, table an eight, that's an eighteen. I also did not hit it with my stick. Hey guys, we're doing something here. <laughs> Unlike you, apparently. Nine damage. Yep. Wait, did I roll? No, I didn't. No, sorry. I picked, the, I picked it up and it was a 20. I'm like, did I roll a 20? Uh, 21. Yep. Oh, God. Nine damage again. Third attack. Uh, 25 to hit. 11 damage. I was expecting you to do the nine again. Yeah, well, I can roll higher than a two on a D8 sometimes, it turns out. <laughs> uh, and then I will... Clearly, we should just all be monks. Well, I mean, that, that is... That and immortal. You, you should all be immortal. Mm, that uh, is true. And I will spend a key point mm-hmm. to do key a point. flurry... I don't need to be the tank anymore. Flurry of blows. Yeah, monk tanks are uh, that's straight up a thing. Mm. But if he's immortal, then um, he can be the tank. Wouldn't count on it. Being yeah. immortal or the tank? A bit of both. Uh, so hitting... Not a team player. 
a miss. That's a 14. Yeah, that's a miss. Second one. That's another miss. Fucking hell. Okay. Uh, Dave. So Dave can only move half his speed, yeah? That's correct. Hang on, I'll ask this now, so I'm not accused of fucking vamping on my turn. Um, are you actually able to use that sword properly at this point? It's like it's doing all of the things. Yep. Yeah. I've already attacked him. Okay. With it, and it made woom woom. Does it like? Does it do? What does it do? It does radiant damage. It's a light sword. Okay. Is that it? Doesn't have. Of course, it has personality. Oh. I mean, I like that's cool. I'm just saying. Do you want to have a look at like the... a... Nah. I won't look because I won't know at this point yet. How uh, far is the statue from? Know. Sorry. Like, how far is the statue from Dave? Ten feet. Does it look like it's going to attack him? It's only attacked me so far. I mean, like, is, is, does false. It... Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. It's like, categorically false. <laughs> you hit and me then, first. And then attack everyone. Does Dave still have the gems in his mouth? Yes. Okay, he's going to just, like, open his mouth and try and scoop up as much of the most expensive looking shit he can find. Okay. As his action. Sure. Mm. Which is, it's going to be Dave, the bag of holding. <laughs> Alright, uh, why are you? Where is so hang on, hang on. So you established that like, this thing is still attacking us, and Dave still had the things in his mouth, and rather than trying to solve the situation, your approach is to try to make it worse. Also, where does it come out? I, I'm into it, I'm into it, I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just going to roll to see how many more are in his roll and activate. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that the whole fucking room is in like a terracotta army. Amber army, he doesn't want to take his ideas. Look, I can't give him ideas, he's playing off the book. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm an absolute blank slate on this, this is entirely the book. I've, I've definitely not put my own spin on anything so far at all. <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, fine. you're in trouble now, the DM <laughs> used your full name. That's how, that's how you do summon them. <laughs> Um, okay. No, we, sure. we just Holy organically hey, did hey, that hey, for hey. you. Hello? I just realised our parents all used the summon greater demon spell on us because they say our true name and then we have to do what they say. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Or, or, or what's more likely is this was written by a bunch of people that were still living with their mothers when they originally wrote this game. <laughs> hmm. I mean, hi wizards, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> that is two sides of the exact, of the exact same page. <laughs> so we've we've organically just vamped for you anyway. So what was your? So why is it that when like everyone else bullshits for twenty minutes, it's just like having fun and chatting, but when it's my turn to do something next, those previous twenty minutes were vamping. Because I, I just want to get the rules clear. Because we've met you before. <laughs> Eight chef. <laughs> You know, haste can go away like that and you'll just die, right? Like, that's something that can happen to me. Hey, man. Fuck dude, you. We're, we're, we're already eating a shitload of Skittles anyway. Uh. <laughs> literally, um, literally 720 grams of Skittles in that bucket. Which would equate to about 780 grams of sugar. Mm. The math worked on this, okay. Uh, yep. So that other sword was the most valuable looking thing in the room, or was that just like the most described? Yeah, presumably Dave has that in his mouth now. Uh, there's a bunch of other things. The, the cursory glance is from a guy that was sitting on top of a 10 foot high um, statue looking down at piles of treasure. There's going to be details that he'll miss from that distance. All right, okay. In that case... If you guys want to go scooping through piles of treasure... Well, which... yeah, I mean, look, at this point, um, is there anything, anything that looks... Like the other swords, if there is anything that looks, like, useful, uh, anything, you know, plus something to something... Not uh, magic, we've established that. Yep. There are weapons, there are... This looks mostly like monetary stuff. So, it's either um, tributes of literal cash, or, you know, art artworks, or weapons and armaments, which are just 
they well you know they're all mundane there's nothing magical yeah apart from okay all right uh, so if someone like on their turn was going to use that to you know get the bigger shiny thing in the room it would be sorted by value rather than by mm -hmm. anything else okay well i do that then okay everyone's just gonna fill sit there like fights on fill pockets <laughs> rin's got that you don't worry about it Okay. Uh, Just call out encouragement over there and go for the eyes. So hit him in the beak. What side of the room were you on? Hit him in the beak. Uh, west side. Uh, were you on the side that Oryx on, or were you on the side that Rin's on? What side's the crack on? I was moving towards the crack. Cracks on the northern wall. There you go. Um, the treasures are on the on the western and eastern walls. Oh, okay. Uh, That's why I'm working out which treasure pile you're closest to. Yeah. Which one was the ember door? Was that? Amador's on the southern, on the southern. Southern, okay. All right. Um, fuck it, then east. East, east. So you would be east. Best side. East side. East side. Okay. So you're just wildly scooping at a pile of. So what you see in front of you is basically a pile of of uh, golden coins. Um, then you've got, um. A bunch of pots, the like iron pots, and you can see that they are each filled with coins as well. Um, there is a obsidian scepter. You, uh, there is a pile of um, helms, and there is a small stack of uh, leather-bound books. Well, I mean. When are you gonna pick up the helms, right? You're gonna get a helm collection. What are you? What are you? What are you going for? You okay? You mean you add have, to my helm collection? You have uh, five options there. Which are you going for? Five. Gold. Golden coin pile of got literal pile of loose, coins. loose stack of um of golden coins. Yep. I mean, don't fucking attack the monster that we're dealing with right now. This is cool. Oh no, it's fine. I have multiple, no intention of doing multiple cool. like pots of um, iron that are filled with uh, <laughs> copper coins. For reference, what which one is based on this? Uh, western side, closest to the crack. What, what, like what We're was, enemies now. What was in the pile? I mean, oh, we're so. Uh, a whole bunch of coins. <laughs> there was ju jewelry. <laughs> um, yeah, basically he's been like scooping up coins and jewels. Wicked. I mean, it's going to be the books. The books. All right, so you sort of wildly sort of like start grabbing, grabbing these books, like filling your, filling your, uh, your, your basically your travel pack. I hope they're like, books of poetry. I do too. That some emo kid has just written. Why are you? Is actually time. like a sensitive soul. Be yeah, that would actually be beautiful. beautiful. Like poetry that's been for the record. Around. It has written here what the books are. I'm <laughs> not going to pull some bullshit that's not literal. Title and author books written here. Okay, yeah. I think you're establishing this now because it's going to be dumb as fuck and you don't want to get blamed for it later. Am I in the ballpark on this one? Uh, now, that you, <laughs> now, that you've settled, settled, now that you've settled in on your course of action for your turn? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, we need to know the names of these books now. I don't care if we live or die. <laughs> okay, so that was why you turn. Ulrich. Because that was why you turned. We died. That's, I think that is the point. Yeah. Oh, no, we went back. Um, okay, so I'm going to attack it. Because that seems like the thing it's to how do. you do. Well, I mean, it's a giant for the monster in the room killing us. Like, for the it would be a fucking like, dumb thing to the do. Side, to the, side that's the side that's facing you has got like large chunks cut out of it where you've basically been carving at it with essentially a light-powered hot butter knife. And so on the other side like of you, a, like you've got like these saber. chunks. Yeah, kind of like a lightsaber. Yeah, you yeah. got like chunks of stone. Oh, like stone of amber like cracked out so like this thing is looking beaten to fuck, fuck. Yeah. uh does 18 hit yes then obviously 24 will so obviously um, that's just math yes it'd be weird if it didn't hit okay that's going to be nine plus uh 12 so 20 uh, across two attacks nine and 12 nine and 12 so 9 and 12, so 9 on the first one, 12 on the second. Describe um, how you do this. Um, I mean, effortlessly, because it's, yeah, like, it, it, 
As you said, hot it's, knife. Like, it's like a hot knife through butter. So I'm just, I'm just kind of like waving at it, and it's you know, <laughs> like put it aside, like squeeze. Yeah. Isn't that cute? It's real cute. You, you look like um, the picture of Andre the Giant holding on to the beer can. That's what I said when I got it. <laughs> what, I, what I actually really want now is a second one to put on the end, and then I can start doing the, uh, the whole like. And everyone will love that one. Yeah. That'll yeah. be great. Yeah. No one's going to have any problems at all with that whole scene. Yeah. yeah. And then I get cut in half. Someone will videotape it and put it on the internet. And then, I, and then even though I have the speak. high ground, I'll still get chopped in half. I don't know. Why. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just effort, effortlessly just like. So you basically you know, like just wave wave your stick around and uh, your your glowing light stick and you know basically like carve through the legs and this thing yeah. sort of like crumples like slightly when the the leg sort of gives way and then just like collapses. Actually, yeah, that's a really good point. I'll probably aim for the legs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just concentrate on one of the legs. And yeah, so like the legs just sort of like crumples apart and the whole thing sort of like collapses sideways, um, collapsing towards the um the amber doors, and. And like crashes and shatters on the ground. You guys got a bunch of damage. Like he did I was, I was, I was doing fucking work on this thing. So was I. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't paying attention to what you were doing. So I didn't yeah. summon a monster to try and attack it instead. Yeah, he didn't make this fundamentally worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He decided not to make this literally double the work. Yeah. As soon as the fight's <laughs> over, I say, hey, hey, guys, 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 I look, look, look at my light sword. But yeah, you guys are now out of combat. Sword. I'm assuming this slows off me now. Uh, yes. Does this Excellent. produce light? Like this produce Living actual time. light? It is tangible. Is it a tangible blade made of light? But it doesn't. It doesn't emanate light, so it's not like a light source. Uh, Rin falls sense. over. Oh yeah, his okay. haste falls off, and he's like, <gasps> sleepy time. <laughs> falls into a pile of gold. Oh, do you want? Uh, do you want some heals? Like yeah. Um, I can cast cure. Okay. <laughs> he took it on as like cure oh, some sort of wounds on you. Yeah, do it. The small explosion um, up in the next room. Like, oh. <laughs> Speed of light is very <laughs> slow. Just take that. Keeps you still bright. Um, All right. So yeah, the room is yours, guys. You have a crumpled statue in front of you that uh, two of you did a lot of work on, um, and piles and piles of treasure. Let's loot this shit. Uh, you get 12 hit points back. Hooray. Thank you. That's actually... No, okay. Hey, 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 Ryan. Hey, yeah. Um, so I, I did a roll to loot. What skill would that be? Uh, I usually use investigation for the looting. Okay, because I got a natural 20 anyway. Okay, so this is what you're doing. Which, which pile of the six are you working on? Sword came from pile two, just so you know. Um, Dave has been working on three. He pulled from six. Whichever one looks the most likely. I don't know, man. I'm going to roll a 1d6. I mean, I don't really care. I've got what I Four. want. Four. Pile four. Okay. This is the one with um, piles of ingots. So there are 30 holy symbols um, uh, of various gods from various worlds. You have... Is there a Mars one? There is actually. Cool. Uh, there are 12 copper chalices with silver filigree. There is a gilded skull with red garnets in its eye sockets, which is super cool. That's my own little bit of flavor. That's not that, written that down there. That is super cool. Um, Got to put that on a cane now. Yeah. It's probably too big. That's probably a bit big. Yeah. But I like, I, like, I, like your, I like your moxie on this one. Uh, and eight war hammers and six war picks. Actually, probably, you probably picked the shittier of all the piles. Yeah. Yeah, I did. But still, cool gold skull with rubies in it. The question is, I know I don't normally work with encumbrance. You guys are not carrying all this treasure out in one yeah, hit. Yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that as well. But we're also... We're only You're a out of combat at this point here. Right, You've I got your sun did sword. I, did I mention in my inventory I have a wheelbarrow? Do you actually have a wheelbarrow in your inventory? I mean, like, th this is why I have a horse and car. Wait, so where... Yeah, but where... Why? Oh, that's, no, no we left it on top of the albino. One away from the teleportation <laughs> circle. <laughs> And yeah. two rooms away from the... So, if we ever come back... Assuming you come back here, which you probably will, you're right next to this room. So, he can always... Someone okay, can always come so back and get all this shit. I'm just going to list off, starting from pile one, stuff you can get. Co a shitload of copper coins. Whole pile of gemstones. Gems. Rusty iron plate armor. Rusted swords. A charred side sarcophagus. 
Hey, I open the sarcophagus. I get ready to attack. <laughs> uh, okay, cracking open the sarcophagus. Um, it's a sort of a black wood, um, black wood, great, uh, well, coffin sort of shape. Um, and it's got, it's got like uh, gold sort of wo- woven into the. You all are fucking around with treasure. You're not ready for shit. You open it up inside. No, there I'm, is I've no, said I'm no. Actually... It is empty. Uh, but inside it is like um, sort of like silk or satin lined. Uh, it, is, it is. Can Rin get inside? <laughs> <laughs> is Rin child sized? It might be a little bit small for you. Do you want to establish that there's anything in there? Or yeah, but he's, he's like really flexible. In next it to is, whatever it is. It is empty. I said just to he's say. Good over. Patty, Patty's good over. Yeah, you're um, really flexible though. Like, wait, you're, yeah, wait, are yeah. you a contortionist? Yeah. If it's if it's if it's empty, <laughs> is that a deck then we can use it as like a chest to carry shit in. No, this is mine. <laughs> Just because you're a dick doesn't mean you're stupid. Just to clarify, there's no (laughs) child-sized vampire coming out of this thing. No. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Invisible (laughs) child-sized vampire. Hey there, Chandler. What would you want to fight? One child-sized vampire or 60 rat-sized vampires? (laughs) Probably the child-sized vampire. Well, wait, yeah, because the in D and D rules, they yeah. might get swarm. Uh, in D and D rules, the the, the yeah. economy of actions is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, pile two. Uh, whole pile of silver coins. Um, a couple of rusted suits of ring armor and two rusted breastplates. There is that uh, rapier in the pink glass hilt. Uh, there is some great swords. There is a gilded chariot. Pile three. Whole pile of electrum. And if you guys pick up the money, I'm just going to give you a gold value because I just work in gold values. Fuck all the don- yeah. denominations. Electrum is worth half. One coin of electrum is worth half a gold. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to give you a gold value. Just, yeah. to, just to go back over that thing I literally just said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, so, so you can actually give yeah, us yeah. a gold value on that. Uh, okay. You have 75 empty bottles. What a fucking tithe that was. Someone really fucking dug deep. Uh, a trunk. That is currently cl- opening it up. There is six fine dresses and gowns made of like silk and satin. Ring gets changed. Does he like tear the clothes what? apart and turn? Why he watches and like something? occasionally like shakes his head, shakes his head, like laughs at the funny one, and then the last one like yeah, that's the one. And a montage, yeah, I like it. It's an eighties music. Pretty woman's um, playing in the background. Yep. Uh, there is ten pieces of jewelry in a. Rotted chest. Oh, I missed that. Uh, there is eight painted surrounding statues of saints. Pile four is the one you had a look at. It was a pile of iron ingots and all that crap. Pile five, whole pile of silver pieces. Six specifically non-magical crystal balls. Can I just say, sorry, not not impinging on your 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 DMing ability. This describing, like, weirdly for Dungeons and Dragons, this describing treasure is the most boring thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They have literally given you, like, all the treasure in one big fucking pile. Um, Thanks, guys. A Thank you, bron- Gary Gygax, I guess. A bronze crown <laughs> uh, with tiny gem-eyed dragons of spires. A life-size wooden pony. Uh, six marble va- uh, vases. Vases. Size. Can we hook the pony up to the chariot? Yes. What happens? You have a nice looking chariot with a wooden pony at the front of it. I Bloody like, I like it. <laughs> uh, the last, the last like, pile. At the point we're just like throwing electrum at each other. <laughs> <laughs> like the gasoline fight. <laughs> uh, the last pile, the pile where you pull the books from. You start start going through like the, the coins and like the ones that are the, the golden coins. You pick them up and they're like a little bit light. Um, they're actually cheeky fuckers. They are. Fuckers. You sort of look at it you're like scratch. It's like they are wooden coins painted gold. So someone has been wow. real shitty someone about that one. Been here and just gone. I'm gonna fuck with these. Or someone people. offered up a pile of gold coins as their tithe to the to the, uh, to the temple, and yeah, they didn't have gold coins. Um, you got that obsidian scepter, uh, the the bun- uh, pile of rusted helms, the and books. Well, yeah, you got your books in your case. All right. Well, yeah, now now yeah. is the opportunity to uh, to read some titles, please. Okay. How many? So hey guys, guys, I got how, many, how many of the fifteen do you reckon you got fit into your pack? Probably what four, five. 
six. Do you I have, think about you six. You don't have like two book bags on me at all times. Yeah, I know, but how many books are you actually going to be able to? Uh, on top of the ones you're already carting around, you've got Fox Boys book, yeah, your own yeah, book. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah, four, four, five. Four, five? Okay, so you pull out the ones that you've got in your pack and looking at the stack there, which has you know, got a decent like pile of dust on it. Um, dusting off the ones you got in there. Um, the first one you are, you... How to cook human. How, How to, to serve man. Yes. Um, you dust the first one off and the cover um, is a it's a storybook, a kid, uh, children's storybook. It's called, and I shit you not, Snow Dwarf and the Seven Whites. Opening up the inside, it is signed by the author. That's actually probably worth more than. Um, the, and then um, looking over the rest, Adolf Hitler. Is that a, <laughs> got, how, how does it spell whites? Was W I G H T S. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that's just straight up funny, man. <laughs> um, oh. But yes. Like I was thinking, like whites is in the D and D monster anyway, but like, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, the other one's way more sinister. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's got it's signed by the author of uh, Mitch Rackme. It is worth more, but um, only what? to very specific people. I don't know. I, 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 that sounded like a bit that I didn't get. No, it's what's written there. Okay. I, I, I am not shooting you. It's literally what they've got written there. I believe you. Oh, and uh, going through the uh, the rest of them, you, you start dusting them off, and it is literally 15 copies, all signed of the same book. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. There's a full so description here. Fifteen thin leather bound tomes, all of them signed copies of a storybook called Snow Dwarf and the Seven Whites. Ah, uh, okay. So when so I, I said I hoped it was some emo kid's poetry, this is worse. Yeah. This is better. Worse. <laughs> I don't know. So I picked up five of them? Yeah. I put three of them back. <laughs> you know, like, do you, do you one for me, and this is a Christmas present for someone? <laughs> do, you, do you tell us that they're all the same book? I mean, I'm sharing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this, like, this, this, this is, is this a good is, bit. This, is, this yeah. is an egg on face moment. I'm like, ah, oh, beans. <laughs> I could have stolen anything. I stole three copies of a kid's book. Five I mean, copies of a kid's book. Uh, I mean, I'm still eyeing off right. the scepter. That sounds pretty baller. Rin grabs that uh, crown with the dragon yep. things and puts it on. Yep. I think it looks quite sporty. Yeah. yeah. With your, your pink one's glasses going on yeah. as well. And, my, my, my. and your new um, women's clothing. Yeah, oh, and, and the first doll that I have from the Fantastic Mr. Fox from earlier. Yep. yep. Oh, um, I'm fucking so working it. This was a hilt, right? Yep. Does it, when I'm not using it, does it turn off? Or, like, is it permanently... Don't Currently, it. it's, it's entirely lit up. Don't okay. touch it. If it's a, if um, does it have, uh, did it have a scabbard? Don't no. Lick. Don't, don't lick it. Um, I... No, wait, lick it. Feel lick at it? it? Good. <laughs> see, see, see what happens. I emote at it. What... Do you emote at it? Um, half face, half face, eggplant. Uh, more just, do you turn off? Like, yeah, so, so, what, so, what I, so what I... <laughs> yeah. mark, so what like, I... Eggplant, just, question mark, dick pic. Yeah, like... And the, yeah, like, now it's turned <laughs> off. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> more just like, how do I store you if you're turned on kind of thing. Yeah, because it, it feels like that would hurt if I put it in the scabbard. Oh, yeah. honey, you never turned me on to begin with. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now the sword has to talk in that voice every <laughs> time. I think I'm just feeling that for a bench time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so describe how you're emoting towards it. Is this like um, more just kind of questioning, and then the image of like storing it in a scabbard or something, basically. You get a sensation from it. Um, it's it feels like it's Rin doesn't care. Um, it's like a child searching to its parents that it's safe, like you're questioning whether it's safe. Oh, okay. Um, oh, sorry. It's it's. Oh, it, sorry, it, it's it communicates. It communicates okay. in the in the sensation of emotion. Um, then... It's very hard to do, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, um... I... Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to convey. Uh, essentially, as safe as you can be at this point. Like, yeah. 
we're not in current danger, but you know. Okay, so you get this sort of sensation like a like a child hanging onto your leg, and just like just it feels safe in your presence, and the the light from the sword re- uh, retreats back into the um into the yeah. into I the like hilt. To hug at it. Yeah. This is getting getting <laughs> Ulrich's feels out. <laughs> All right. What's everyone else grabbing? And then as it does that, I say verbally, "Thanks, buddy," and then put it in. All right. What's everyone everyone grabbing, and what's the plans? I'm not. Gra- I'm. I'm done. I, I've got what I. Um. You said there was jewelry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. I was grabbing that. Well, like basically anything that looks expensive, uh, that's not gold, and then like, however much he thinks he can carry and not be too encumbered. Okay. He's gonna grab the gold, whatever. Like that. Yeah. Basically. Also, if you want to pack me up with shit, I can carry stuff. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what are you? What's gonna clink going forward? So he, Dave's going to sound like a sack full of pennies. Uh, yeah, basically, his <laughs> mouth is so full of like gems and jewelry and gold that he's just like. Ah. That is a horrible, horrible look. Uh, uh, so, what are you doing with with your sarcophagus? By the way, I was meant to ask you about that. Can I sit in it? Yeah, he sits in it. Yeah, it's very goth. Yeah. Uh, is is anybody wanting that like spirit. like obsidian scepter? Is that a thing? I'll take. Uh, it. I mean, I was I was eyeing that off. Oh, I was, I was thinking nice. that. Uh, Ren's gonna have like a like a Queen Elizabeth look going on right now. We've <laughs> <laughs> got the crown, the furs, that's amazing. <laughs> a, dr- a dress and a scepter. <laughs> it's just like actually that that, a- that would be amazing. I vote Rin gets the dress and the scepter. He's already wearing He's the already dress. Wearing yeah. the dress. <laughs> He's already- I vote Rin gets the scepter. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately, this is not a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> he even changed his accent. <laughs> so the only thing we've got left here to do is kill the wizard and then leave. Why do we have to kill the wizard? Because he's clearly evil. I, I, have think to see the wizard. I think it is important that we kill the wizard. Why, why do we have to kill him? Because he's, he's clearly evil. What makes you think he's evil? Did you not see all the things that he did? We clearly need to, to put a stop to his, to his plight. He got upset at us killing his friend and then... Who was evil? And Who then was he evil? disappeared. He, he didn't try to kill us after that. Look, if you want to leave this uh, out in the world, then that is on your conscience that we are doing this thing. Uh, two okay. things. First of all, guys, I'm in the room right now, so like, ouch. And secondly, <laughs> I mean, I've helped out a little bit as well. <laughs> I, I believe. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> you think you know a group. You're trying to make <laughs> some friends. Uh, okay, so totaling up. you. Well, what are you doing with the sarcophagus? And uh, so you're basically sort of sitting in it, making it look, look, look regal, and then just leaving it behind. Give me a description of what you're taking, and I'm going to give you a value of, of currency that it's going to be worth. And we're going to go around the room. Uh, so the, you got the scepter, you got the, scepter, the crown, the crown. You got the clothes. Yeah, but I'm not going to sell these things. I don't need the value. It's fine. I just want those things. Okay. So you've got those things, right? Um, like I said, like <laughs> as much expensive shit as I look, as I think I can carry, and then like whatever else I can carry in gold. Okay, so you've picked up a pile of jewelry that's worth two and a half thousand gold. Um. And managed to stack up with another, another thousand worth of coins. Fuck yeah! Uh, what are you grabbing? You just got your sword I'm in your hand. Just stand the corner. Yeah. Um, like whatever was in and the pile. And if you just want to put it down as just a gold value, and we'll deal with the fencing of it later. Unless, like, one of you guys wanted to pack me up with this. You got two of the books. You got plenty of room to grab some other stuff. More stuff. What I, whatever was left in, in, that, in that pile. Does that include what's in Dave's mouth? Uh. Add another 500 for when Dave. Okay. I'm picturing there's going to be a situation the scepter was in the where we're going to have to be so unencumbered by that. all the treasure that uh, you're also the down with. Coins. Um, I did posit that like, however much you can carry and not be super... Oh, uh, as a game mechanic like, thing, uh, it's an action. Okay. I'm assuming what I'm saying is you're, lighting, you're, ga- you're carrying as much gold as you no. can. Oh, all right. Just well, there's going to be a situation where you're going to drop some of that gold. Your yeah. level of communication yeah. with it is on emotion. Yeah. That, that, I just want to really sort of reinforce that over the next few bits. I also imagine most of my emoting at it will still be in ch- like the emotional version of shouting. Oh, I, I don't I don't doubt that uh, your emotions are bright and sunny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, you managed to get a whole bunch of money. Um, you. We really need a bag. Of you holes. take this. Um, mm-hmm. 
if I gave, if I gave you guys a bag of holding, this would be a different story altogether. <laughs> well, I mean, like, we need one anyway. But, yeah. Uh, if you want, you can grab that rapier. Yeah, 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 yeah,
you first entered into and there was the, there's the crumbled remains of well I anyway. vote for leaving the fuck this this place leaving fuck leaving the fuck this yeah, place leaving the fuck this place fucking leave me agree I do <laughs> yes I mean well hold hold on hold hold on also vroom, vroom, I start like killing myself <laughs> and making warm noises gross are we a hundred percent convinced <laughs> that this is the magic sword we were looking for? You mean this magical sword? Vroom, vroom. I start to see the lightsaber. I'm I'm almost certainly convinced. Yes. Don't want to. You wanna... have voted no. I'm <laughs> almost positive you did. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to look at another thing to see if it's on that spear. So, I think it's probably you. Have a sense in your uh, it, it, the, as this conversation is happening, you get this sense that this sword wants to destroy Strahd. It doesn't say it in those words, but it, it you get the sense that it wants to cut the head off a snake. You've seen a picture of Strahd's face, and it's just showing you a picture of Strahd's face with it in it. Yeah, um, I, I I get the impression this sword wants to kill Strahd. So I'm fairly sure this in, is what we want. In like a like how it's balanced in your hat, like how are you you getting an impression from a sword? Yeah, it it seems to tell me stuff. Two big steps backwards. Two the, the big mat. steps. Forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, telepathically, like, swing, swing me around. To him, to Ulrich, he's like gonna like Nala like is gonna make a fake voice and just tell him to swing the sword around. I mean, I've heard you tell. You're the you don't, only you person who's ever you, tell. You don't know what the sword. I don't like. know what it sounds yeah. like, but I'm and not using my normal voice. And you're also the only person who's ever like used telepathy for me. So I'm gonna, go, I gotta go, go up to you, pick you up, and start swinging you around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you this know, is what you asked for. You know what? Know. You know what? Not like his voice is, and he's not talking in that voice. But also, I, it, I mean, it's but, just you doing. I mean, it. I, I, honestly, you've done lots of funny voices. That's before. your rationalization. He's only communicated with the sword through emotion. Yeah, which you don't know. Fair which enough. you you don't know that fact. Yeah, yeah. And it's very difficult to convey an emotion of swing me around. Although, well, I mean, like the the idea was that I'm trying to get him to look crazy anyway, so this works. Yep. So you guys are going to attempt to like swing him. I'm going to say less like a sword and more like a yeah, you do like the, a kid the, the, when like you, kid yeah, when you do yeah. the spin around thing. Yeah. Not like tries to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what <you> okay. Asked for. <laughs> but, so yeah, you get this sort of confused look from Ulrich as to why you want this, yeah. and then it happens. <laughs> this is happening in the middle of this horror temple that has corrupted some of your fr- uh, some of your friends. I'm going to hey, say I'm going to go you. associates <laughs> associates sure, um, and has attempted to kill you guys on, on multiple occasions. Presented you with liches and skull closets. Vampires. And vampires and made us roll several ch- wisdom and charisma saving checks to stop from taking over our minds. Yeah, I'm taking another big step back and reading fucking magic missile. Yeah, this place has not been great. And yeah. now Ulrich is swinging you around like a five, like like you're some sort of four year old that wants a wants a dizzy with you from their dad. Although I imagine it's quite fun. Like, mm-hmm. and honestly. It's probably a good little sort of like a, a relief of tension at this point. It's this has been a shitty few hours. Out few a few hours. A couple of days, isn't it? It's been like we had a, several we had a long rest in there and a short. Okay, it's rest. been a couple of days at this point yeah. in this place. It's been a real shit. It's it's been at least one twenty four hour period. Uh, we should probably leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's already sort of puts you back down and then you're like I guess uh. I <laughs> Yes, I asked for that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll so, catch up. So we have, have we established if you're crazy and haven't been taken over by an evil magic sword? Because I, mean, prob- I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of evidence to suggest that that's not I mean, happening. It, it probably did, but I know 
in my core being that if it tried to corrupt me, I would know it. Good enough for me. Let's go. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you, fellas. I just got to get my balance back. <laughs> All right. So, make your way out. What's the marching order? I guess I'll go first. Onwards and upwards. I meant that bit about staying behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta settle your stomach again, or you got something else you got in mind? Oh no, he's gonna like try and resummon the dawn to that area. All right, so Ulrich leads on. So we're leaving you behind, just for a little bit, yeah. Um, is it? It's dark because I'll just I'll light up the sword if it's uh, the um. This main hall had like um light shafts that sort of lit up through the um. You're basically um illuminated using the amber in the walls, and there's been torches lit around the place as well. So, Ulrich in the lead. You're staying behind. You guys. I think this is going really well. You're being sarcastic right now. I can't <laughs> go with you, buddy. No. I, don't, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> yeah. you, you even know anymore? <laughs> I, get, I get that about <laughs> millennial feels, huh? <laughs> Guess I'll just die then. <laughs> okay. So, now, like, what are you doing? Um, the same ritual he would use to like summon the dawn. He's just doing. Yep, that takes about ten minutes of. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, same effect uh, in in the treasure room or in the main hall or. Um, probably the treasure room because it's less exposed. Yep. Okay, same sort of thing. Like the middle of the room, sort of just like walls, like it's liquid, mm -hmm. and the dawn appears. He's like, what now, boy? I've cleared most of the temple for you. And he's sort of scanning around like the, the multiple eyes are looking around. He's like, my lad, you bring me to such, such nice places. I can't tell if he was being sarcastic then. Was he being sarcastic then? <laughs> Should I roll inside? You can roll inside. You can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not, but you've dropped him into a treasure room full of treasure yeah. that has been somewhat looted by you, but you definitely couldn't carry everything. Yeah. And he's like, so you've cleared this place out then? From what I can tell, yes. And uh, through that crack and up some stairs is a magical library. Oh, -ho. that could be worth a pretty penny. Not sure how you'd clear out of it, but um, you might want to turn off your, uh, your main eye ability because... It relies on magic to keep the books staying good. Oh, I don't believe I can turn that off. There's got to be some way, but uh, I'm sure you can figure it if out. I'm looking, if I'm looking at it, the magic doesn't work. That's why I'm not looking down right now. Maybe give it a bit of side eye. That's what these are for. <laughs> I'm all side eye. I don't know why I'm slipping into this, this, this <laughs> accent, but it's, it's what I'm rolling with now. So then, boy, run along then. I've got to set up my base. Yes, sir. Yeah, move it on. And you sort of move out of the room and you just hear him just like chuckling to himself and just like hear the sound of like coins clinking together as he's sort of like counting up his treasury. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Heading up the stairs up into the balcony, balcony area. Um... And looking behind, you know, you can turn over and look at, look behind you and see that the shattered remains of the statue and you see sort of Narlag's back um, and you can sort of hear him talking to someone, but you can just sort of see the back of him and you don't know who he's talking to. Um, and then heading up to the uh, up the stairs that sort of lead up to the, you can sort of feel, start to feel the cold blowing in through and, and a little bit off to your right, you can, you can feel sort of the cold blowing through from that uh, room where the, the mountain folk were camping. Um, but yeah, it's... It's a bit of a blustery day or night. You you can't even really tell at this point. It's it's been it's been some time, but yeah, it's quite cold. It's quite wintry. Rin's got his cold weather cold weather shawl on. Uh, you, I'm pretty sure you said you stuffed your uh, armor with some uh, some cold weather gear from Does the. Does the um, uh, sword, sword provide heat or just light? Just light. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you had. An extra layer of uh, clothing and everything ready for. Yeah, uh, he had that dead guy. That dead guy. Oh, sorry, 
that guys did watch court. That's right. That was that. That's right. Yes. Um, Feels like it. <laughs> did you actually said that? That's right. That's pretty bad. You guys are the worst. I just had a travel start. All right. Heading. Uh, which way are you heading out? You're going to head out the main doors, or you're going to head out through the the so way the, the mountain left, folk. Where I left my horse. True. Well, well, your horse, you can just summon. So. Well, yeah, but if I don't have to. It's probably a good idea just to head out the way you came. Yeah, that's the way we know. All right. So heading up the stairs. Uh, actually, before we leave, before we set out, uh, we should take a short rest. Yeah, let's take a short rest. A short rest is a great idea. Hey, everybody, he's so smart about taking a short rest. I mean, I'm not against taking a short rest. There we go, it's decided. Yeah, I'm actually against taking a short rest if you're going to keep doing that voice. So... Uh, where do you rest up? Just with... Um, do you have your horse spells to take? You can rest up in the same uh, spot you guys did the long rest yeah, before. In that, uh, in that, uh, also, the mountain folk room. Yeah. Cast it yeah. my three? Uh, that's, that that's a very effect. personal question. It is a personal <laughs> question. <laughs> no, do it slow. Well, did I swap it out for a different spell? It doesn't matter if you did, but... Like oh, wait, actually. I think I swapped it out. Oh. Because we oh, needed... No, spend hit dies. Mm-hmm. We needed Just magical heal. weapon... 2d8s plus 1s. Was it magic weapon? Or was it ceremony? I think it was ceremony or magic weapon. Mm. No. 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 Hey. But it's easy to change. Especially, actually, even if we do a short rest, I can change my... S- no, it's not no, it's a long rest. rest. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so Make short rest time up in the, short rest time up in there. Uh, so yeah, at this point here, you can either go up the um, the main set of stairs and get back outside, or you can go through the uh, the crack where the uh, the mountain folk came in and out. Both lead to the outside. You can you can actually feel the cold air and the snow blowing in through through those. So dealer's choice. We should go out the way we came in. Go out the way they came in, and head back towards the elf village. All right, the elf. Village. Okay, you guys head up the stairs. What's your marching order? Back in the same sort of order as before? Or yeah, taking I'll the go, lead? I'll go first, yeah. I'll go next. Alright. I'll go last. I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go last behind the last guy. <laughs> More last. Last row. It's just a parade of us being Canadian to each other. No, please. No, 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 please. 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 I'm sorry. After you. I'm sorry. sorry. After you. After you. All right. You make your way up and um, it's as you as your um your you you make your way out the out the uh in, into the the open air. Uh you can sort of see it's just sort of just heading into dusk. The um you can sort of see like the hints of like pink and purple in the in the skyline. Um and how many, oh, sorry. sorry, how many hours away was the village? It took it took most of a day to get oh. to. So if you wanted to travel at night, you're more than welcome to. It's gonna be cold. Mm, it's gonna be cold, and well, I mean, the other option is to stay at the temple. So you know, although we have done that before, so you know. But you said it was getting dark. So yeah, what do you guys want to do? Let's go. I think that's a bad idea. We don't know this wood very well, and also, well, we're more of a target now. We don't have our other wizard friend. So it just implies that we were friends. Because <laughs> a minute ago, you wanted to fucking kill me. <laughs> Did I? Make up, make up your damn mind. Did I want to kill you? As I'm concerned. Well, Didn't. look, who doesn't? I mean, what? Half <laughs> ego, half paranoia. No super ego. This is just kid. Um, yeah, look, let's make camp overnight in the temple. That's mm. going to be the safe Back in place. the first room we rested in? Yeah, yeah. 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 That was how far safe, away? safe enough. Well, how far away?
but I was going to ask how far away is the library from the... That's the way, uh, right across the... Uh, yeah, all them. Those rooms fine. So, barricading yourself in for the night? Sure. Who's... Who's keeping watch? Uh, I will, actually. I don't actually need any sort of rest at this point. Because I didn't get hit with shit and got most of my spells back in one shot last time. You also didn't sleep the previous night. Fair enough. He, you didn't have a sleep or during the previous long rest. But that, um, was, that wasn't yeah. a... You did the four ones. They're still, still within the 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. Like, so. It's not like you've gone 24 hours without sleep. It's sort of just like you're, you're like the 12 hour mark. I'm mm. an academic. Late night, that's fine. Okay. Get an oil lamp and a book. These guys settle in for a rest, which means we definitely do recover some of those uh, hit, hit dice and bits and pieces that you did just spend. I know I sort of said. Okay. Whatever. I'm getting my horse ready. Yeah. What are you doing dur- during the, uh, the watch time? Because basically the, the, the sets of amber doors are closed and barricaded. What, um, are you, what are you spending doing your time? Well, like for the first half hour, it's going to be setting up like tin can and string noise traps. Mm-hmm. The rest of it, seriously, we'll just sit down with like an oil lamp and um, some scrolls and get some study again. Okay. About two hours in, you hear your tin rattle. Uh, and you sort of, yeah. Minor illusion to set off a whooping air raid siren. Okay, so this sort of siren siren sound goes off. It's, uh, you want to give an example? <laughs> a wooga, a wooga, air raid siren, a wooga. <laughs> that, was be- that was beautiful. And it actually <laughs> says air raid siren as well. All right, you guys are all jolted awake from this sound, and activate steel, uh, shield and sword. <laughs> Looking around the room, you don't see anything. Mage armor. My bad. Wait, how far away was? Where? Sorry, I, I shouldn't ask that out of character. What's uh, what's going on? Uh, something set off one of the tin can. Traps if someone wants to go check it out. Uh, I'll go check it out. I wasn't actually sleeping. I was just meditating. You're just meditating because that's what you do. Because that's what I do. Um, I instantly go back to sleep. Fair enough. Uh, the the tin, basically the string with the, the tin at the end, which is um, that guy made you that tin. Uh, strung a, across the the gap where the the crack is that goes leads to the outside. You can see where that's been like broken and. Like, it's basically been triggered. Is there footprints in the snow outside? Roll survival. I've got a good survival. So avoid this. 21. Yes, there are footprints that are leading from the outside into that crack. So they're coming in? Yep. I come back inside. Mm-hmm. Uh... I, I know you're in here, and we are going to brutalize you to death if you do not surrender immediately. You hear a whisper in your ear. You go back to ear. That's a whisper. I actually did so. The, uh, the microphone can pick me up and say, I know you followed after me. I know you were against the destruction of the Lich. It's me, Casimir. We need, we need to talk. And it's just like a whisper in your ear, just, just ever so slight. Is it different to the voices I normally hear? Yeah. Well, you're like, it's a voice that you're familiar with because it was, you know, your traveling companion a day ago. Yeah. Okay. And usually it's just children screaming. Wow. Well, there's, there's a, <laughs> there's a look into the, into why you psyche that I was not prepared for. Yeah. Look. Maybe that's why he's on the back of a bus. Man. There was a chicken. Mash reference for anyone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like video. the last <laughs> episode, isn't it? That's yeah. got real fucking sad, real fast. Yeah. I, I need to show you the video of how to steal a chicken. Where is it? 
I don't think that's that's really linking in with the reference that he's going for because that's a lot. Oh no, I know it's not, but it's still a fucked up thing about a chicken. Anyway, uh, that's the situation. We're put a pin in that and come back to it after because I am actually damn curious. So yeah, you hear that whisper in your your thing. Um, you don't hear a response to your announcement to the room. You sure? Roll, <laughs> <actually>, roll perception. <laughs> wow. 18. <laughs> you hear this like you hear a sound that could have been a whispered voice or could just be the sound of wind passing through the through the gap in the wall in the stonework. I had to pick my words. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Because I'd be ruined for five minutes. <laughs> no, I'd be ruined for five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what you get from that. So now I'm... Super paranoid. Yes. Alright. That's the situation we have in the room. How does people... How does people... How do people... How does English... Uh, I stay at the, the break in the wall. Yep. Uh... You know what? I actually don't think it's a great idea that we're just leaving this crack here. Something, something set that trap off. Something, something is here. Uh, cast minor illusion, oh, yeah? and just wall up the crack. All right. I continue to sleep. Yeah, yeah. You said that. Going back to sleep. I mean, most Rin doesn't go back to sleep. He never really was asleep. Sleep though. Why? Go back to guarding and read my book. Chilling out amongst the Nordax and all cool. Give that an hour or so. How long has it been at this point? Uh, that'll be three hours at this point. Rin's pacing. Yeah, it's something. He's pacing. And he has flaws now where he's very paranoid and untrustworthy of everybody. So. You should really work on that. Work on my flaws? Well, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'd like for you. Not even because you owe that to other people. I don't, but just even, I don't even know how that works in D&D. Yeah. I think you're all for it. Oh, no. Uh, you got worse. I see. Um, while you're pacing backwards and forwards, you hear a voice in your head. Talking to you. Jesus. <laughs> and he's like, Rin, you you really feel like going for a walk outside for a little while. Just a just a half hour. Brisk walk. Wake you know, just to calm yourself down a little bit. You can roll me a Oh dear. A wisdom save. Him being asleep, do I get the bonus of it? <laughs> I have to be conscious, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I believe so. Fair. But it, I, I wasn't trying to game it. I was just sleep curious. is unconsciousness as far as I'm concerned. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying if that's a charm effect, then he has advantage on the save. That's oh. what I was literally about to ask that. I have advantage against okay. charm effect. Yep. So a wisdom save with advantage? Uh, or not? Actually. Not. Instead, yeah. you're just you going to... You don't have immunity to charm, do you? Conscious. He has no. immunity to I've, sleep. I can read my sweet fancy bird notes. Yeah, but he can't. And I was answering his... I may have other things here that you don't know about. You're right. Okay. But I know what elves can do. Just normal. Sorry? Just roll, roll normal, no advantage. A wisdom save. 18. I rolled a 15. Okay, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, beans. So yeah, you sort of hear this voice and then you just sort of feel that compulsion to, st to start off with and then you sort of like just shake it off and then that power Show yourself, sorcerer, and then I will swing wildly around myself. Roll attack with disadvantage. No, I like wake something, man. 15 or 10. Uh, 20. You sort of like flail, flail around a little bit and then you feel something connect at 
really like you're like swinging like this. You, you, you're doing. It doesn't look like I'm, I'm it like look wild. It looks controlled, but you're swinging at. It's not you paranoia can. if it's real. And then one of the swings you feel connect. You can roll damage. Nice. Nine damage. All right. You didn't accidentally hit one of them, did you? I can see in the dark. I'm okay. Cool. What am I thinking? Mm -hmm. You do that damage, and then I fail my con save. Con save. And you see Casimir just sort of like appear in front of you, like with your, your staff, like in the side of the jaw. And he's got this look of shock, like you. I wake up. Um, I'm gonna hear this again. <laughs> yeah. This is convenient. He came to us. Mm. I'm gonna hear it again, right? Yep. All right, do it. Get him. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen hits. Good job. Uh, and I'm going to spend a key point to do a stunning strike. Okay. That's a 14 con save. Yeah, I failed that. Uh, uh, and that is... I, I'm not going to put my resistance... I'm not going to give my... You're not even awake yet. 12 damage. damage. Alright. If everyone can roll in initiative now. <laughs> those that are asleep... Uh, can I get an action in before I get kicked off? Or... Uh, <laughs> the same as last no, time. This will be on your initiative. This will, this will come in with the initiative. I got 12. So now I got a 9. Yep. Fair enough. Dave got two 18s. He got a 21 on his initiative. Ulrich? Why does he have advantage got a five. on initiative? No, he had disadvantage. Oh, why did he, why does he have five. disadvantage on initiative? Because we he was asleep. Up. Okay. You get disadvantage on initiative. Well, isn't that what Ryan said? No, I said you'll be spending your first turn waking up, essentially. So, yeah. essentially, oh, okay. you'll just be non combatant for the first round. It didn't round. matter, he rolled the same thing. Your first round yeah. will be waking up. Yeah, okay. Uh, who am I missing? Why you? 13. Alright. Whenever we roll initiative, I always seem to roll single digits. No, you're not. Come on, Casimir. Alright, Dave. Open his eyes. He's awake. Oh. Okay. He's awake now, yeah. <laughs> um, Casimir, with um, stunned. stunned. Can I still talk? Oh, um, the bodies of those the guys that were killed, are they still around here? Yep. You could probably put the loot in some of the bags and go to Dave's now. How about you fucking focus on what's going on right now? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Look, I'm vamping. Ryan's looking at stuff. No, 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 no that's happening. Okay, through this sort of like it's got this stuttered voice because as he says, I can only talk uh, falteringly. It's like you, you destroyed it. Why, my sister? And then can't attack. That's his entire turn. Why you jump? Yes, why is your sister? Why why are you yeah. killing my sister? Yeah. Why, you? why are you little? Yeah. Um, is it going to be worth trying to talk to him? or is it? Hey, the <laughs> thing where they say the name of the movie in the movie. Mm. Or the name of a character in a movie. The only way that happens is a fair bit. That um, happens probably most of all. <laughs> is it going to be worth trying to talk to him? Or is it just going to be that... that um, You want to talk to him? You talk to him. What? What about your sister? Just responds back. He's like, "You broke the gift that I needed to bring her back. Um, the statue. That's enough. Is it? That's all he can get back. Get out in the in the sort of time." Um. Uh, I tell him to stand down and I ready a spell. And that spell is called. Uh, 
Hurry the fuck up. That's actually not the name of the spell. <laughs> and now we have to start again. The spell is called In That Time uh, Teleport. Okay. I studied teleport, copied that from one of the uh, scrolls yep. into the book. Yep. So how does teleport work? In this. Don't you have the description of the spell there? Yeah. It is about eight pages long. And I don't know if any of this dovetails with what you've got with the teleportation circles. Teleportation circle and teleport. Are two this is the longest fucking spell. Teleportation. Yeah. Here's I'm the thing. Teleportation circle and teleport are two different spells. Yeah, they're different spells. Aren't they? Yeah, I'm not sure you actually got the spell teleport. Because the, the scrolls had teleport. Teleport is seven, like seventh level. Yeah, the scrolls have seven. Christmas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what's that's all I get when I put teleport into anything. There isn't. Is there not a spell teleport circle? Is that like only teleportation scroll or something? circle? Is the other one? It's the only time you get the scroll as well. Yeah, and those are your fifth level spells. I think. Yeah, they're fifth level spells. Yeah, anything teleport is usually. You have burning one of the scrolls, though. Well, it depends. Like, what is a teleport circle actually going to do then? Uh, just as you cast a circle? spell, you draw a ten foot di um, diameter circle on the ground, inscribed with. It also takes a minute to cast. Um, inscribed with sigils that link your location to a per uh, to a permanent teleportation circle to of your choice, whose sigil sequence you know. So it's essentially any of the other ones that you know of from his book. So it's a dial end device. Morty's Morty's home. The one in Balaki, or the one back in near the library that you just came from, or the castle. Those are the four you know. Right. Okay. So it's it's teleport, but it's teleport within sort of the within the, so the to network a, to a of yeah to, into the existing. specific ones that you know of. It's it's, it's the load checkpoint button basically. Mm. Fast travel. Yeah. Well, fast it's travel a fast travel. Button. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's fast travel. It also takes you not establishing so it's going to take fast you 10, travel. ten rounds to do. Yep. If you're going to do it mid combat. Seems like a bad idea. Well, I wouldn't say a bad idea, just yeah. a less efficient idea. And also, I'm not 100% sure how useful that is. If you try to use teleportation circle in combat, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, look, stand down and hold like five off. Five I'm off? Not a, I'm not attacking first. Alright, Bryn. I'm going to hit him again. Alright. 16. Uh, yep. Uh, spend the key point. I think you got advantage on it as well, don't you? Stun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Okay, it was better the first time. Uh, spend the key point again. Uh, so DC 14 con save. Uh, nope. Uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. And I'll hit him again. Gonna miss. Does he do you with have advantage? advantage? Oh, with advantage. Uh, 18, that hits. Yep. Uh, 13 damage. 13 damage. Yep. And a martial arts attack. Yep. Plus 8. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, 6 damage. Okay. As he's dead, he is. You put your basically like put a palm shot like into his nose and like push his nose essentially up into his brain. I wake up. Is, can I before anybody has a chance to stop me? Mm -hmm. Look, can I uh, like like drink his blood now? Can I drink his blood now? Wait, what? Can I? It's d drink his blood now. What? Well, you're out of combat now. Yeah, the time is yours. Look, all right. Can I can I drink his blood now? You sure can. What do you guys see? <laughs> is basically Rin push the you know the, the, the this you know, Casimir's nose up into his brain, and then essentially start lapping up the blood that pours out of his face. Um, 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 out of initiative? Um, You're out of initiative. 
Um, well, unless, unless you want to drop back into initiative. Um, Ryan, what the hell are you doing? Well, like, what? yeah, like as soon as he kills someone and goes for it, banana. Uh, uh, um, what? Yeah, um, I'm, um, I'm going to... Everyone's like... Um, <laughs> uh, 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 um, <laughs> Ryan, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I'm going to ready hold person. He can't really talk right now. His mouth is... Right. What does does he Mage get there? hand? As soon as he kills I'm someone, gonna, I'm it, that's it. I mean, I I understand the killing him, but what like what what? I think he might well, be. A I actually, you, guys, you guys here are debating it. What are you doing? Because you said you are. You're like um um <laughs> um. <laughs> what are you doing? I turn into a T Rex. <laughs> Form of? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, we've got our own Dupree. <laughs> Wait, a tiny one though? Like, not <laughs> a large one. That is polymorph, big... right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't the way I expected Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to roll... <laughs> I'm just going to quickly recreate this because we're going to drop back into a new initiative. Okay. A new initiative or the same initiative? New initiative. No, okay. new. I rolled uh, shitty. Although I didn't roll much better this time, so... Yeah. I'm assuming I can make this with... Out. I mean, any this technical enemies took a turn. This te- you could just put an enemy in there and then just like ignore them or whatever. I mean, like we can just go off our own initiative. There we go. All right. So how does this work? Are, like, are you are you NPC <laughs> now? Is this? I think this is a PvP fight currently. If you guys are going to fight him, if you're going to try and force him to stop, you have shifted. So. Give me initiatives. New initiatives? New initiatives. Oh, I got a 19. Dave got a 7. Because it's the only way I can work if I, out the if I, if I, if I, If I may write just, just, just a second. We're in the dark right now, right? Yes. The only person that doesn't have night vision... Well, I would have woken up. As soon as I woke up yeah. and heard yeah. fighting, I, I would have activated my sword. Oh, yeah. No, cool. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Also, there'd probably be a torch because, like, you know, he's looking dark. Okay. Yeah, and I would have activated my sword as soon as I woke up. Which you've only just done. Like, you are... But I've woken up... Out of everyone, you are the most confused because you didn't even get a chance in the last combat to wake up. Yeah, so I woke up, sword on, light, and then then, or basically all I heard, like, I'm seeing is him... Your first round of initiative is going to be waking up still. Okay. I got a nine. What's your initiative, though? Uh, nine. Nine as well. Uh, Rinse is a nine. What was Y's? 16. 16. Is that your initiative or is that... I'm still in the middle of looking that up because I have no goddamn idea how this works from here on um, out. <laughs> where are you looking the stats up for that? Because there's a really... Well, yeah, what, you what was better, Dave's? Dave's was 7. I um, believe... Let's just start that. I didn't expect this to go this way. I wasn't sure whether you were going to go the go the go the vampire path. I was I was so un- I was a little excited. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I know. That, okay. I was, I was just getting in there as like that was what he was going to do at that exact moment, the second that that blow landed. So like whatever for like initiative and however anybody reacts, but uh, that's what that's what I'm doing. So like, how much blood does he get? I don't actually know the specifics. You sort of said it last week and I was hungover and I don't really remember, but that's sort of what I... I'm also just looking up polymorphs so I can cool. deal with that as well. So. But yeah, you may need those books. Why is polymorph only a fourth level spell? Jesus Christ. Uh, do that link's not working for me. It's not? No. I'm scroll down. I can't remember if I've made this roll before about how vamp- how vampires work. I have vague memories of actually rolling. If I may, knowledge. You know I'm not a vampire. True, that's true. Yeah, good, yeah, good point. That's very true. He's not a vampire yet, and like you've had evidence that I'm not a vampire. Mm. But drinking blood is the first sign of okay. Put it in as a companion. Possible as a, vampire. In your um, yep. thing. Because you have all the stats of it. You are that creature. Yep. So you have... If you go on your... In your whole action, spells, equipment, features, traits, yeah, tab, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. creatures the there. So creatures, yep. Yeah. That's how I did the... Yep. Other thing. That I can't talk about. Because you are that thing game? now. No. And 
until yeah so you even got the hit points of that new form so just keep that in mind uh, when you revert to the mortal uh, the mortal form the normal form uh, you return back to the hit points you had before you transformed so you are at full health and then just quickly could you send me the rules for that thing that I got last week because this told them to me I don't really think Oh, you email it to me? Just message it through. Thank you. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, this one counts. Yeah. For, the first, for the first thing. Yeah! Alright. Oh my god, especially because it's you. Yep. Yep, I got it. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> that, that was my plan. Yep. Alright, cool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you are T-Rex mode. Uh, Narmak was first up, was he? Mm -hmm. All right, you are awake. You are. You can see Rin has basically punched the nose into the into the brain of Casimir, and it's basically lunged forward and started to sort of drink of the blood that is flowing out of the guy's face. Old person. Old person. Wisdom saving throw DC fifteen. Uh, as far as you're concerned. After a, a round, that is done. Okay. All right. If you can do your wisdom save, you need to walk first and first assist. Do I get the benefit of... I'm unconscious. He is unconscious. You said you were waking up. I told him that he's not really awake okay. until, the, uh, until he's actually... He has to turn liquid to give him more life. I got an 18. You can pass. Woo! Why you? Suckers! <laughs> How do you like that? Oh! <laughs> Hold on, let me let me do it in character in a minute. When it's my turn. Why? Um. I'm well, so look, my my options are more limited than they would usually be because instead of casting spells, I'm a T Rex. <laughs> 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 With a, with, a, with a wizard hat on. <laughs> Uncanny. It's like, a, like he's in the room. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to bite you because I'm a T-Rex. Oh, I, I, I feel like he's going <laughs> to... I, th I thought he could try a grapple, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiny hands. Tiny hands. Hold on, hold on. I just have one question. I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Yep. When you, when you cast Polymorph... Yep. Did you transform into a T-Rex or did you transform into Mick Jagger? We're going to have to find that out as we go. <laughs> Wait, if what? I, if, I if I successfully bite you and I can swallow you whole, I'm probably not Mick Jagger. Okay, okay. But otherwise, we don't know that. Yeah, but you don't change there's size literally, category. There is literally no, no other way. No, he 100% does. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. wow, that's nice. I'm a this giant is, fucking T-Rex This right is now. squeezy. Hey, how, yeah, big, how big is the room? Yeah, how big, big is the room? <laughs> it, was big, it was big enough. Okay. I think retcon. It's exactly T Rex. Size. Exactly T Rex size. <laughs> no, no, most of the, most of the, the um the rooms in these were like thirty feet tall, and this was a like fifteen foot square room. So also, T Rexes aren't that tall. They're long. It's still oh, squeezy. Yes. You know, yeah. your, your yeah. turning uh, turning circle is going to be uh, difficult. Yeah. Hey, uh, attack, bitches. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to bite you. Why I'm going to try to. Why, why are you doing this? Why, why, why are you doing this? Because it just it hurt me so much to see you go down this Roll dark path. Roll the goddamn dark. Previous, before <laughs> now, I, I respected you so much. That is 13 plus 10. That hits. Plus Jesus. That is 4d12 plus 7 piercing damage. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> How far? Wow. Can someone add a zero? Nine. Nine. Seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. Ten. Twenty-six. Ten. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Plus seven. Forty-three. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Thirty-six Jesus damage. Jesus Christ. And for my second attack, I'm not even awake yet. Uh, exactly the same again. Twenty-three. And that is... I, apparently this is the, this is the rock paper scissors version. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is T Rex monk. 
T-Rex. Vampire. T Rex big vampire. Three. Six. Oh shit. Oh, so three, three, and five. So oh, eleven. Plus, Plus seven. Eleven then. So what how much 18. damage did I just take? Eighteen. Eighteen. Alright, well I'm dead. Well you're unconscious. That's true. Is he out of Can I wake up? <laughs> At this point now. <laughs> At that this point now would be <laughs> yes. an excellent time okay. to wake up. I wake I've got up. I'm that thing again now. Yep. So you I are. didn't what? I didn't see him. Wait, no. I I need to clarify this. So we went. We got out of combat, right? Mm-hmm. Out of the. So I would have woken up then, sure. You're out of combat now. Yes, yeah, sorry. You're, 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 you're awake. Last time. You're awake now. Yes. From you, last you're, time. You'll probably wake up at the point where he turned into a fucking. T-Rex. But I. That means I didn't see him eat, drink blood. You woke up from that. Right now, what you would see is like him covered in blood would be real explainable by the fact he just got attacked by a T Rex in the room. Yeah, yeah. So And um, there's a T Rex in the room. Yeah. Um Why you was obviously fucking scarpered at the first sign of a T Rex. And unfortunately Wait, uh, and to clarify, does the does the T Rex actually have a wizard hat on? I'll throw that one up into the room. Yes. How are you feeling about that one? I would say no because it polymorph oh. doesn't. But okay. it's a good. L- also, a like f- even if I, did, it would be like real high up, perched on top of a T Rex. So I'm not really. Okay. Sure and I don't think uh, Dragonborn have uh, dark vision. No, that no. no. But there's a torch. They're the ones that always feel like they should, but they. Yeah, they got they got a, they got a special attack, so they don't get a lot of other bonuses. Okay. Um. um how would you describe your emotional? Uh, what does it? What does a T Rex feel right now? Ah! That's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Alright. Um. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ren. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. That is. That is one way of saying things. Bye. I attack the T. Like I don't see why I wouldn't attack the T Rex. Oh, we just gotta go. T- well, TBK like one, yet again. one real good reason not to attack T Rex <laughs> is it's, it's a fucking, fucking T Rex. Yeah, but it, okay. Yeah, it's your but turn. But it's also it's just turn. attacked my friend. Yep. Or my acquaintance. Uh, yep. It's your um, turn. Why is it that as soon as someone dies, then all of a sudden it's oh he was my friend. <laughs> I can admit it. No, 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 he was he was an acquaintance. Um, he was a That's guy. So uh, yeah, that, this is where you go. This is a weird dream. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, I gotta, I okay. gotta, I gotta stop eating pizza. I'm here's the, what the fuck is happening? Here's the situation. You're in a room. There's a giant fucking lizard that just ate Rin in half. Yeah. Um, That's what you see. It is Nalak, your turn. Nalak isn't looking hostile at the lizard. I say to you very quickly, what the fuck is happening as I move forward, I guess. Ren um, killed Casimir and started to drink his blood. And there's a fucking T-Rex. Yeah, yeah, you kind of also might need to explain that. The, 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 That's more wh- than... I make the T-Rex equivalent of, uh-huh. Yeah, can, I assume eyebrows. you can't talk. I'm guessing I can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. You are that creature. You can like try and like wave though with your little hands. <laughs> like, like just hands. Like, <laughs> Man, like maybe that's why they're angry all the time. They can't talk and they can't even do sign language. It's just like uh, time out. Um, he's cool. He can't even do that. He's like, God damn it! <laughs> what? <laughs> Dan, uh, please deactivate your new phone. Uh, Dave, it's Dave's turn. Dave's not doing anything. Cool. I like it's your turn. Um. I'm going to rush over to Casimir, see if there's anything he can do. Casimir, uh, then roll a medicine check. Casimir doesn't have a face. That is a 16. He does, it's just kind of like inside of itself. It's like when you look at like a, a human mask, but like from around the other uh, way. 17. You can still make 17. it out, but it's, you it's the wrong way. You can very clearly tell that he is gone. He is beyond, beyond the point of a healing potion. 
it, to bring him back would require either he'd resurrection a, magic need, or some sort he'd of need holy... a mouth to be able to drink a healing potion. We need to take him to the uh, to the angel. We need to go to the angel now. Take Wait, angel. why? Because Rin killed Casimir. Why are you? What? Okay. Um, yours. <laughs> I'm still I'm good, huh? <laughs> do a little, do a little, like, I uh, can't get no. <laughs> Strutting to the other side of the room, which is like a step, pivot, come back the other way. Oh, uh, I just got a goodbye horses in my head now. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, whatever the, um, Whatever the, the amount of time that Polymorph lasts for is how long I'm going to be a fucking T-Rex, guys. I'm not going to stop doing this by choice. Okay. Up you to one hour. <laughs> <laughs> Up to. <laughs> okay. Oh. You... I don't have a character anymore. You, you are not. No. I just Can I stabilize Rin? Oh, no. No, I don't want to stabilize Rin. He's a vampire now. Fuck him. You see... It'll happen Rin's, so quickly. Rin's got like these massive like bite <coughs> marks all the way all the way across him. Uh, not torn right in half, but I throw that into flavor. But um, I think he was ultimately killed by a tail whip, right? Or was it? Did you get multi attack with the bite? Oh uh, no, it was bite and then a tail whip. Oh, so, so the, the yeah, final like one the, was like the bite did most of the damage. Um, so if tail it, whip if against it had, the wall. If it had gone the yeah. other way, if it had gone the other way, um, I would. And if I killed you with the bite, I was going to try to swallow you. It was going to straight up be lawyer in Jurassic Park 1. And, and then just deal with the repercussions of that later on. <laughs> um. And also, wait, doesn't that potentially mean you could become a vampire? Mm, I don't think it works like uh, lycanthropy. But Don, anyway. but Don mentioned that the Arcanolock skin was super fucking valuable. And I like taking that. Holy shit, man. Okay. He's yeah, looting my core. You're not this even is... waiting for the body to cool um, down. It's still initiative order for the record. I am describing a thing. Yeah. Um, you see... Uh, okay. Rin's corpse. Like, the arm sort of twitches slightly. And then just sort of pulls itself up. And it is, like, gaunt. And, like, the, the like all the blood has... There's been massive blood loss from the vampire... Uh, not the vampire. The... T-Rex bites and told you it was immortal and things like that and he just sort of gets up and still got like the, the, the pointed features of his Eladrin mortal body now with the extra feature of extra pointed teeth mm. the eyes are like got this red if, hue to them now if like only I had a sword that didn't like vampires oh wait a minute I do. And he gets up, looks at all of you, and is like, Do the voice. I can't do the voice. I don't think I can do the voice. Talk like a robot. Do Gilbert Gobtrain. <laughs> I can't. I definitely <laughs> can't do that one. <laughs> He's like, you uh, expected that to kill um, me. That was pretty good. Yeah. And I was like, well, I can't do this. <laughs> it appears that my time here is uh, done, friends. I'll be uh, seeing you soon enough. And with that, he sort of bows deeply back up again and using. Uh, disengage beelines the fuck out the uh, out the crack I throw my sword at him because you can't concentrate on that illusion anymore because you're in T-Rex form oh yeah yeah. Didn't that is that. in yeah. Gonski hmm? I throw the sword at him uh, it is your turn you can try that do you mean you got, you got stats you got stats you don't need to, I don't need to do shit no, I'm just gonna add I'm not playing this game anymore fuck you guys get out of my house <laughs> And I try and convey to the sword to be extra hurty. That's what I emote to it. You just got the sword. Now you're throwing it. Did you Did you want the sword or not? Oh my god. We go through all this trouble and you immediately throw it away. 
This is why you don't get amulets. Now I can throw, yeah, I can throw a spear, but how does throwing does it work the same way? No, it's not a thrown weapon. It's not a throw. It's not a light weapon, is it? Uh, no. I don't think it's it versatile, can. finesse, and yeah, that's it. Martial. Yeah, just fucking it's not a throwing it, weapon. Just fucking so overarm whip this I, thing. Uh, I would be rolling your uh, dexterity check without. Your proficiency. proficiency because it's not a thrown weapon. But it's uh it still have its weapon bonus because mm. it is a plus uh, bonus. This is this is Finesse setting a precedent of turning this weapon into a ranged attack. Well yeah, I, but I can't like, it's essentially gonna be it, so. it's essentially gonna be an improvised improvised weapon attack. So I it's mean, not gonna be great. Hmm. It's not gonna be accurate. So no proficiency. But uh, your target so number is going to be higher than That normal. means I can't use... Because isn't finesse that you can use either strength or dex? Or is that the, one of the other... Finesse is either strength or dex. Yeah, so I can still do that. You're throwing it. You're throwing it. Throwing so you'll be using dex anyway. Yep, all right. Uh, yeah, unless uh, it's a spear, you use dex when you're throwing something. Because I'm stupid as fuck. I wanted to go real good. I want it to be a one. Well, what, one or a 20, bad. man. Like nothing in the middle here. So 15 plus, uh, I mean, my dex is zero, so... Um, 15, then. 15. 15. Oh, well, it will be plus the weapons bonus, I think. Oh, I'm yeah. not going to say for this, for the um, for the sake of an improvised weapon. No, I don't Fair think enough. it's got a bonus. The I mean, sword, you're literally not using it as a sword. Like, any yeah. plus to yeah. a weapon would be using it as the weapon that it is. Yeah. This is your throwing uh, a, a piece of steel at someone. So, but it wouldn't weigh much. You can, yeah, okay. Well, here's the other question. Does the, does the blade stay on after you throw it? Okay, so you... <laughs> that's good too. You launch the blade, and it, it flies through the thing, and as, as it does, the blade, the actual light blade, retracts back in. It's essentially a large, poorly balanced shuriken. Ah, okay. It's got, a, sa it's got a safety switch. I'm not very intelligent, so, you know. Honestly, this is... This is great. You just see yeah. him like bow, fuck off, and your first reaction is peg the first thing you've got in your hand at it. This is great. Hmm. Um, what you see is like Rin's vampire form, essentially. Um, just ducks slightly, and you've, you're familiar with his sort of agility and, and dexterity. And he's just like he's got a quickness to him, and it just sort of flies past and like pings off this off the stonework of, of this uh, this crack, and you just get like the spark as like steel hits. Um, yeah, flint stone and stuff and so forth, and misses. Yeah. Hey, I, yeah, and I run at him. Not that I'll be able to catch him because he's a fucking monk and be a vampire now. But you know, actually, no. I first run to the sword. Oh, Pick oh, that up. Dear. Hold on a second, oh, guy. Oh, yeah. But you also you can uh, redirect. Deflect missiles. Def yeah, he can deflect oh, missiles. Yeah, I was actually waiting. I was waiting for I you mean, to do that. Okay. I had actually this assumed you now. would do that. All right. Well, it's yeah. actually yeah, I'm good. you can come. Oh, he doesn't get. He doesn't keep any of your shit. That would have been cool. Yeah, been. <laughs> it would have been pretty cool. I was <laughs> waiting like, for it. Catch, oh, fling. Yeah. I run over to the sword, pick it up, and like. Or catch uh, and take, and, and that's, then that's kind now of, your adventure. I emote an apology at it, basically. Hang on. Hold on, let me get broken. Okay. Uh. Dave. Dave's gonna try and shoot shoot him with some I beams. So that is two wisdom saving throws, DC twelve. Pass, pass. Fair enough. Nalag. <clears throat> so Nalag is going to run to the crack. Can mm -hmm. he see? Can you see Rin? He's sort of at the. You can sort of see the, the the crack sort of goes around the corner slightly. You can sort of just see the. Actually, you can't see very much. It's quite dark out there. You've got dark vision. I have super dark vision. Okay, you can see his his silhouette against sort of the night so the night sky. <laughs> I can see 120 feet as if it were daylight, even through magical darkness. Okay, cool. So, yes, Excellent. you can see him. Excellent. I am going to summon a mind witness right in front of him. Okay. I 
don't have to roll for that. It's just that yeah, yeah, I got that. All right, why are you? <laughs> Can you get out of the room? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's it. Options are real limited at this point. You're probably going to need to not do you, for this. Do you think, like, do you still have your mind? No, he has the intelligence of the thing he's trying to stop me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, yeah, there, there's got to be me in there somewhere. This isn't just like a wild animal, but yeah, it's you, not a smart wild animal. You retain your elite, your, your alignment, and you remember who your friends are. Mm. That's about it. Okay. Rin turns around and faces you. And you all you can sort of see, like you're you've seen your dark vision. Um, you can see his silhouette and you just see the brightest blood red eyes in this black silhouette. Cool look. Can you give me a wisdom saving throw, please? Uh sure. Plus his three. Uh, I mean, he yeah. ran out of the room. Uh, it's only uh, a ten foot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's actually no, you're twenty three or something. Twenty three or something. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Okay. Yeah, but knowing how these things work, it's probably higher than like, a twenty. It's probably you got an eighteen. Uh, no, I got fourteen, and I got uh, base plus four plus his plus three. So well, you're, you're, you're not in the room. I'm not. I'm not. He's too. Well, he's outside it's of the ten. It's foot. only a ten foot. You're outside the ten. Foot. All right. Well, then I got an eighteen. You got an eighteen. I'm on Rin's side. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I initially he said, yeah, I was still in Rin, so that's why I went, oh. Uh, no, but as soon as he actually just pointed out it was a 10 foot, not a 30 foot, because I forgot that it was, I thought it was 10, I thought it was 30 foot. Um, okay. You sort of feel like this, like a wave of memory of Rin, and the fact that he was a companion, a, a traveling Traveling companion, all a friend. <laughs> all the all so the good one, all the time, all the one. times that you two were on the, on the uh, the bench of the of the the cart, and you were telling him all about the merits of driving carts, and and, he and another time, that's your the, dumb shit story. That's the only and good memory you have of him. Then sort of remember that, yeah, that's pretty much the happiest memory you had of him, <laughs> and that wasn't that great. <laughs> 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 Which basically means that you rolled. Just enough to resist the no, charm like, spell. Just, like starts pissing himself <laughs> laughing. You fucking moron! I hated you. <laughs> um, I hated you so much. But he sort of sidesteps past the mind witness, which is going to make a opportunity attack, which it misses, um, and sort of disappears around the around the side of the of the front of the temple. Uh, Ulrich. I now run over. Swordless Ulrich. So well, I run over to the sword, pick it up. Yep. I emote in it like an apology I've to it, made it, and then I turn around. You, you can sort of get this feeling like oh, did you see um, the unallocated one I put on there, uh, like a like a child that was has been left behind at the at the park after uh, uh yeah after the, like, seeing like the parents leave and like, that sense of like abandonment, but then cool. the sense then then you sort of like that that moment where like. See, they see the parents sort of turn back around and realize they left. You know, they they miss someone and like turn back around, you and it's like this, yeah, this, this sort of yeah. overwhelming feeling of like. I, I I try and convey to it that yeah, it was in aid of killing a vampire, but you know, um, I mean, there's not much I can do other than run after them. Yep, you can keep running after. Uh, what would Dave be doing? P. P. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I have a feeling he's... So we've, we've just created another vampire lord. So oh, even if we... Okay. Hey, 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 slow down. I created another vampire <laughs> lord. So even if we kill Strahd... At best, me and a T-Rex created a new <laughs> vampire lord. Ironically, if you hadn't have flipped out, it wouldn't have been as bad. Well, I didn't. That's the thing. I was asleep the whole time. Uh, what's Dave doing? Dave's going to head towards uh, Rin. All right. Um, Dave has a creature which he's never used, but it's called a trait drill. It's something or other. If he moves towards an enemy, or at least the direction he thinks an enemy is, he can move double his speed. Sure. Yeah. 
Okay. So it's doing that. Right. Since it's been any phases. Uh, does he have dark vision? We have shared vision, so I think so, but maybe does not. Does he have dark vision? Mm, I'm going to say no. Then no. You have shared vision, so you can see what his eyes can see. If he doesn't have dark vision, you can't see. Is he still within vision of me? Uh, if he's pursuing afterwards, he gets around the corner. Ah, right. so he gets around the corner, but he can't see around the corner. He won't be able to see Rin. All right, he just fires randomly. Cool. Basically, just lights this guy up with fucking a laser show. Yeah. Shouldn't break you might as well roll through and see what... Uh, uh, wisdom and strength. Just roll with advantage on both of those. Because, yeah. No. Uh, no, like... <laughs> Still a T-Rex. Um, now like going to <laughs> run up to that corner. Um, where, where was the mind witness? Uh, sort of basically in the sort of about five feet away from the Do door. We the doorway. Have to get rid of the mind witness. Well, I'm just going to send it up after Rin anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I see Rin? Uh, all roll party has done is just create more and more abominations that we just so sent out into the 19? world. Nineteen. Um. And I include you in <laughs> Looking around, you can't see him in your line of sight. Okay. Fucking vampires. No idea where those orcs went to. Um, he doesn't have sparkly skin. It's nighttime. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but he's gotten, he might have gotten like 200 feet away from the orcs by now. I wonder how. He's, if only Probably he had a stick that let him fly. Oh, shit. He had a stick that let him fly. He did. No, no, I was just going to keep talking to the um, mind witness to get next to Surf Boy. Okay, uh, why are you? I want to play... I, ha- I haven't stopped being uh, a cool. T-Rex. I yeah. want to play catch with the T-Rex. Um, what do you, what do you see at this point w- that, here? That is some tonal whiplash just there. <laughs> <laughs> what you see um, is a small bat fly out from behind one of the statues that's in the temple face and fly up towards the top of the mountain and continue out beyond your dark vision. I tell the mind witness to start heading that way and I'd shoot at it. It's It's not your your turn, but yeah. But like... Yeah, I know. Okay, at this point... What happens? We're out of combat. Because I'm going to leave the session there for this for this night. Ballast. Seven o'clock. Yeah, it's seven it's, o'clock. It is seven. Yeah. And also, like, it's a good finishing point. It is a good finishing point. I'm. I just... won the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now that oh, shit, and now that that's happened, and now that that's happened, all surviving members can level up. Yay! You'll we stole the experience. You'll your character also to get a new level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but yeah, you guys have gotten through the Amber Temple About for the most part. Actually, time. no. Even Rin got all the way through the Amber Temple. Yeah, he did actually get all the way through. We got, yeah. He just decided it was an opportune time to... So two things occurred to me today. One, I was talking to Kelly about having polymorph and, you know, everything. And she's like, have you ever used that? I'm like, no, I haven't. What's the coolest thing you turn into? A T-Rex. Why don't you turn into a T-Rex? I'm like, I don't know. Why haven't I turned into a fucking T-Rex? You're leaving shit on the table at that point. Uh, And also, like, level eight is, like, the highest um, challenge rating of anything ever. So once you get past level eight, you know, polymorph starts to become less and less of a a cool thing. I'm like, well, I got to use it before we level up. Well, here's, here's the thing. Like, that's the strongest thing you can turn into. Like, in terms of, you one-rounded me. Yeah, you really Like, did. oh, after after a certain point, it stops being, you're still a T-Rex, and you're still unfathomably <laughs> powerful yeah. in combat. It's yeah. OP for its level, and will be for a while. Like, the, the strongest yeah. thing I can summon is CR5. You can turn into a CR8 Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah. The other thing as well is that, like, the, the that's like the... the Polymorph. That's like the that's that's your high high watermark in power level. You can also transform into like fucking fish or birds or whatever, mm. and then you like a whole bunch of situational abilities. Yeah, I'd only ever it. looked through that stuff because mm. it never occurred to me to actually use polymorph for like a big fighty mm. thing. It only ever like the little functional stuff I thought was real real cool. 
but then which yeah, doesn't like, work in enclosed spaces, but you know. Mm. Although, wait, you could become a raptor or something. It's what's in the book. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, a raptor in D and D. That's fucking crazy. Just a dinosaur out of nowhere. That's bonkers. No, no, no. T Rex. <laughs> hey, um, it's a giant so ape as well. <laughs> so, so. Oh, it's so not Rin, enough. Rin's going. Rin's gone. We need to work on your Rin voice if you're going to bring back. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Rin's. Rin's done. Rin's done. That's, that's a, a serious rap on Rin. Yeah. On Rin. Woo. Yeah. Woo! All right. Now we get some other asshole. <laughs> I think this one's not going to be as assholey. Hey, really? Rin was great. Uh, Rin was great. Uh, I loved Rin. Rin was great. And that's this week's episode of the Sunday Sessions. You can email the crew at isolatedcitygaming at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Isolated City Gaming. And if you like what you hear, tell a friend. We're available across a lot of platforms. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and on YouTube. Just search for Isolated City Gaming or the Sunday sessions. Catch you out there.